Well, hello there folks it's not thursday it's sunday how's it going how is everyone this is the end of the week or perhaps it's the start of the week if you're one of those strange people folks how are you doing we're sneaking in an extra stream today because we're going to play with the community how is everybody doing i hope you're doing well we are we're going to do a longer stream today so we're going to be running from well 12 i know it's 12 45 uh, 12 15 sorry folks with a little bit late technical problems and all that and we're going to run all the way up to 6 30 playing games and then depending on how people are feeling we'll probably mix it up and do something something different probably off stream uh, but we'll see so yes sunday hello everybody uh, and most importantly hello amy getting first this week oh so exciting absolutely so exciting uh, just not seeing cryptic's name first this makes me fills me with happiness i jest of course and also amy thank you so much for the sub 12 months in a row unreal that's a whole, a whole year of war remediate how exciting is this that is exciting so thank you for your continued support we appreciate you and with that in mind and you'll be seeing a lot of amy later because amy's in pod too so she'll be shuffling up with something not mono white that's exciting so get guesses in the chat what it's going to be Chrono, hello, hello. We have look in the chat as well, and we have Cryptic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here on your Sunday. I know Sunday is a sacred day, so I appreciate having you here. Hello, Revelo. Hope you're well. So yes, I, I'm, I'm great, mate. Honestly, great. Did, did my first solo drive today. I'm, I'm officially an adult, so I'm very, very excited, which means I'm going to crash from all the, uh, the adrenaline. But yes, no, things are very good, very good. So, today, as I said, it's community day. So we're going to do three pods, roughly two hours apart. So with starting a little bit later, uh, we might bump into everyone else's pods. That's my fault. Uh, so we will endeavour to play efficiently. But commander being commander, we'll just have to see. Uh, if things go longer than two hours, we might have to talk about a hard deadline. Uh, so everyone gets a chance to play today because it's only polite. So with that in mind, the last thing I want to say is, again, thank you all for being here. We are playing with our Discord community and our supporters, uh, of which you can be part of too. So if you're if you are in chat and you're not part of our Discord, we can do exclamation mark Discord. You can join it. It's free. It's where all these cool kids hang out. We play. Well, I say we. I'm really busy, so I don't get to play as much as I would like in the Discord. So this is why today's exciting for me because it's an extra day playing Magic that I don't normally get. But there's games firing uh, every week in our server just now, which is great. 
But also, if you want to go a little bit further and support us, uh, we also have Kofi memberships. So you can join from as little as a pound uh, per month, uh, or you can match a Twitch sub at four pounds a month. So uh, you can do so if you wish, wish to. Uh, if you're watching and you haven't told your social media that you're watching, go to Twitter, Tinder, Facebook, share a link. Say, hey, I'm watching the Chatter Gang. It's a great time. And Baz talks a lot. So with that in mind, we're going to be joining our pod and we'll start introducing everybody so we can get into the games. Hello, pod. How is everybody? Hello. Yeah, good. good afternoon. Kerrick, you're a new person. We've not seen you on the stream before. Yes. Well, well apart from possibly in chat. Oh, yeah, I of course, of course. I suppose new to the stream person, new person would be very different. Yeah, that is very different. <laughs> I'd have yeah. a lot of questions if they want a magic stream. <laughs> Brand new I mean, I, I started at the end of last August, so probably newer compared to everyone here. So that that is new by magic standards, but that's exciting. I, I sort of meant just born yesterday. Yeah, just manifested. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> tattoos and everything already. Yeah. Damn, that's uh, that's a rough time. Tattoos, but no face. So we've got an illustration yes, for yes. character today. So. <laughs> Couple uh, of days, we'll get a face. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. After you win this game, you'll you'll have earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Amy asks, "What social media? Oh, I mean, I, see, if it wasn't for this, I would be off social media altogether. Uh, but we're on the posse today, so let's not worry about uh, social medias. Let's just hang about in this one. It'd be cool, you know? So if you're watching on Twitch, drop us a follow. If you're watching on YouTube, drop us a like and consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. It does. How is everyone doing on their Sunday? Everybody happy? Feeling feeling good? Glad to yeah. see a bit of sun. <laughs> Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know how I feel. <laughs> okay. Little drifting on by. Oh, love it! Absolutely love it. <laughs> is is that an aura in Kerrick's pick? Pardon? Uh, Amy, Amy, Warren Media is asking: Is that aura in Kerrick's pick? I don't know. Possibly. Honestly, don't know. <laughs> With that big oh, question, wait. let us go to spell table. The vizier and of many faces. Absolutely. So we have Luke kicking us off in first place today. So Luke, do you want to introduce yourself to the good people and tell us what you're playing? I'm Luke, and I am part of Shadow Gang, as you all know. And I'm playing Lucius the Eternal, which isn't very eternal because it often gets removed and doesn't come back. And it's just not been very good, but I'm hoping to... Give it another run out against similar power level deck, see how it does, and then I'll check and make an improvement. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll just we'll just see how it gets on. Thanks, love it. Hey Strix. And Kerrick in seat two. Welcome. How are you doing? Tell the good people about yourself and what you're playing. Uh I'm Kerrick, otherwise known as Thunder, depending on what online media thing. Um Re more recent into magic as i said and i sort of picked up this pre-con a while ago and fell in love with it so i'm playing Faldorn dreadwolf herald uh playing as much as i can from exile whether it be exile of my own deck or stealing stuff from other people's decks oh. which is always fun over spout table and then whenever i play a land or uh anything else from exile i get a fancy wolf which, uh, Lovely little tokens for Oh, beautiful. Big fan. And then you got me in seat three. Spaz, hello. Boo. Also part of the Shatter Gang. Big booze, big booze. I won on Thursday, so big booze. Spoiler alert. Uh, tonight, tonight, oh my god. <laughs> Today, uh, I'm on Starscream. Uh, it's, a lot, it's become very much a, a pet deck. And yeah, I, I much like Luke, want to give it a little play before we go to Birmingham for more in-person games. Uh, to see if it needs any tinkering ahead of that. Uh, it cares about the monarch, as you can see from the, the description. Uh, so it will introduce the monarch if it's not already introduced. And it will matter to me that I have the monarch, so I'll do things to dissuade people from taking it from me. Uh, but I certainly have ways to get it back. Uh, and it's a little bit less traditional black deck, that it cares about me drawing cards, but not necessarily punishing uh, 
my opponents for dr uh, drawing or discarding. So we're not there's no discard sub theme or anything like that. So it's just just cares about me drawing cards, uh, but then leveraging that into value and damage. As you haven't changed, you haven't transformed. Oh, your, uh... neither I have. Thank you. <laughs> I just I just like uh oh, what have I not done? Of course, I got everyone else right except me. Got, got the wrong transformer. Universe is beyond beyond me. Thank you for whoever. That was a joke, everybody. Ah 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 Yeah, don't have a last track button, unfortunately. Oh, I do, and I can't remember where to put it. was laughing at his own jokes there, which is a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, that's savage. Oh wait, no, it's funny because I can find it. Where is it? I don't have a laughing one. Drum roll. Need a bigger stream deck. I need a bigger stream deck. I really don't. Uh, so let's fix that before I go any further. I'm getting distracted by playing. In fact, I can just pass it over to Cryptic. Hi, you're on the stream. We've not seen you in ages. What are you playing? I'm actually playing my own deck for once as <gasps> opposed to something that's got a build restriction to it, which is a, a rare occurrence at this point, isn't it? Um, but I'm playing Preston the Vanisher, not Preston from Fallout, like Kevin <laughs> thought earlier. The good Preston, the real Preston. Uh, we're going to make uh, token copies of things with generally with ETVs, um, and we're going to look to try and combo and kill everybody with a single desert land. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was just worried about having to go do a settlement quest again. That's, I, I don't oh, know. you're going to have to do them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And Dabby Dozy. Also, down with kings. We don't like the monarchy here. We do, actually, ironically, it is very ironic that I'm playing that, but anyway. Yes. But I'm also a big fan of sharing that around. Share the power. Okay. So, how is everybody looking? We got our opening hands. Yep. Fan Dabby Dozy. Well, in that case, look, take us away. Okay, okay. I will draw. Like, uh, I think this comes to time. Now I'll play a Sulphur of Springs and I will pass today. I'll draw and hopefully not mispronouncing too many things today. Play a Raging Ravine and pass. Oh, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. Yeah. Draw for turn. Uh, we're going to play this Snow Covered Swamp and we'll just pass it. Uh, draw. Planes soaring Arcane Signet. Boo. Go. Well. I thought I was playing green, damn. Draw. There's a big reason I told us both both Kerrick and Baz, you saw me shuffle on camera, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> we did. I will go two for an arcane signet and I'll pass. See, look at that fear magic, playing an arcane signet on, t on curve. <laughs> Untap, draw, I'm going to play boring and do a mountain and pass. Draw for was pretty boring. Very boring. Uh, I think we're going to have to. We're going to play this Agadim's Awakening, but on the the Undercrypt side. We're going to leave it, let it come in tapped because I don't want to pay the three life, and I'll pass her. Draw. Uh, play planes. I'll tap three for a. Welcoming Vampire, 2-3 nice. Flyer, whenever one or more creature, other creatures with power 2 or less enters the battlefield under my control, draw a card. It only triggers what? once per turn. You're actually at it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you did literally unlocking your draw engine by turn 2. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a wall of opponents. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> ETB, draw a card from this, draw a card from this. The Wall of Omens is not a Sol Ring spell table. Or a plane. That's a Sol. This is a Sol Ring uh, uh, Thank you. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Hmm. Draw. And tower. And with four mana, I will play the Seeker of Slanesh, which has haste. Picture vampire. Two, three. Picture wall. Zero, four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Eric, I will hit you for three, please. You said three, correct? Yeah, because yeah. it was a block with a zero four wall like shape. First blood. <laughs> Already taking damage then. My go. It is you, yes. Yep. I'll untap, draw, play a mountain, and I'll tap free for a professional face breaker and pass. Oh, that's a good card. I like to see that. Spell yeah. table doesn't apparently. Deal damage, I get a treasure, sack a treasure, and exile a card. Okay. Top. Drawing for turn. Okay, we're going to play the snow covered swamp. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and cast this decanter of endless water. Uh, I have no maximum hand size, and it taps for mana of any color. Last turn. One, two, three, four, four, Preston. The Banisher. Uh, ETB to powers two or less. Draw card. Uh, and then I'll play my land, War Room, and I will foretell this. Mm -hmm. Practically, who goes on a white foretell card? <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> I didn't play standard during that set. Fran frantically, <laughs> frantically searching the like four playable. <laughs> you might. White foretell spells. <laughs> I'll play a Fable Passage or Crack It. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fable Passage. Yeah. Uh, Vampire giving you so much card draw in there. Preston's going to flicker everything to give you loads of cards. So you need to, well, you have no mana, I need to get rid of the bloody vampire. Do it, do it. It needs to go. It's either that or Barry's to counter of endless water because he's just running away with it. <laughs> I mean, it's 50 50, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, of course. You know, <laughs> maximum hand size is a very powerful effect, you know. <laughs> it, it absolutely is. Like four permanents versus eight. It's very different boards. <laughs> um, I've been playing with Luke that long as I don't actually know if he's joking or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah, so tap three. And I have to go combat, so I will. You don't have to go combat. I do because no, Slanesh... no, no. You don't have to. You could like dwell in your first main phase <laughs> forever. Yeah, I'll be taking three. Oh, right? that was a fun introduction to the game. <laughs> yeah, for each creature must each opponent must attack with at least one creature. Oh, then I should have attacked with this. You should have. Yeah, uh, I, because I must. Yeah, Baz. Two. Two. And then a further three. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, for God's sake, Preston's a two-five. You stupid rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will. Yeah, I'll send it you anyway. Will I? No, it's not value. Uh, Eric, have you space breaker? Uh, two free minutes. I'll I'll send four at you, Carrie, please. Because Judith gives it a plus one. I will pass. I didn't I didn't say this deck does not have much healing, so this should be fun. Uh, untap draw. You don't have to heal, you just kill all the things that are hurting you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, I will tap free and play Faldon. See, now you're doing things. 
I will do a Gruel Turf, bouncing the mountains back to my hand. And I have to attack, correct? Hey, Ellie. Yeah. Uh, I will go to combat. And Something about send... Facebook has got menace, so you can hit look back. Yes, it does. I'm going to send no. it to look back. But I've got two mana open. Oh. And if you haven't oh. removed any of Cryptic's board... Yeah, you're if you're removing a two, <laughs> I'm very concerned about your options here. Well, Facebook is a really good card. Actually. Sure. That's the thing, like, what have I got? I've got a rabbit, I've got a wall of omens, I've got this vampire. They're not very, they're, you know, they're individually, you know. I mean, I, I don't know anything about value engines, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send the face breaker at Luke. And see what happens. So you're attacking me for three? Yeah, take it. Three. Uh, perfect. It's two unless there's another buff I don't know about. Uh, and I will create a treasure and pass. Oakley dokily. Draw for turn. Yeah, what foretell card do we think Cryptic's got? Uh, the flicker one. It could be Doom Sky and he just wants to remove everything. No, it'll, oh, it'll be the flicker one. Huh? Yeah, if you want to be naughty, you can see his deck list and spell table. Yeah, I've actually loaded the spell table. As have spell I, table. My, my deck's loaded up as well. Now that they've got this option, I'm going to create second deck list that's just ever so slightly wrong <laughs> by five cards. No, make them illegal. Yeah. <laughs> it's my Preston deck. It's all black cards. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> it's not oh, really I took it. three damage from you, Eric, yeah? Two. Uh, yeah, you did. Unless oh, you... Two. Yeah, it's, it's a two free. Oh, I have you wrong on spell table. Apologies. I thought it was a three. We were wrong on spell table and on the stream. That's I have the stream out. open. Consistency. So that... Consistency is what it's all about. <laughs> uh... they, were, they, were, they were different numbers. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to cast this Infernal Idol for three mana. It's a mana rock that taps for black. And it has an activated ability of one in two black. Sacrifice it. Draw two, lose two. Baz. Baz is ramping, killing. <laughs> uh, Baz is not making the mistake of casting Starscream into like everyone going really wide. Uh, and that will sadly just be me. So on your end, Baz, I would like, before Crypto gets to untap, I would like yeah. to cast uh, a braid on... Deal three damage to target creature. On the vampire. Please. That's fine. I was like, is he going to kill the face breaker just because it punched him? <laughs> hey, look, you're, play, you're playing with Luke, not Dean. Don't put it past Luke. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it past me either. <laughs> no, the face break is a very good card, obviously. It, it, uh, it I'm going to play you and it does damage, but Cryptic drawing three cards when he flickers his whole board at the end of his turn is just. Correct. Uh, I'm not saying you can't get it back, but sure. no, can I, can get, I can definitely get it back at some point in this game. It's not. Uh, good. No. Teleportation <laughs> circle. <laughs> nice. Teleportation circle. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is teleportation circle good? I mean, I have next You're dead, very good, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, 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 is, it is good. Yes, we agree. Um, so I think everyone's tapped out. So. I have I to go to say combat. About I can't attack with the wall, so I'll attack Baz with Preston for two. Sure, take two. Um, and then I'll go to my end step. Teleportation circle, target wall of omens. Uh, blink it, enters, 
wasn't you cast by to zero one copy of wall. Draw two. Illusions, that's what he does. It doesn't draw your cards, but you'll draw from the wall anyway because of Yeah, I, I draw I draw from the wall and then I draw from the wall copy. Yeah, so you draw two. God no. Should have killed the wall. But it was too tough. I couldn't yeah. get it right. <laughs> Well, the thing is, if I blink the welcoming vampire, the second, the first welcoming vampire sees the second one, and then I draw from the other welcoming oh, vampire. Oh, I mean, you get two of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there wasn't um, a bad choice. No. Well, I think uh, the commander so... is arguably the bad choice because he can just recast it anyway. Yeah. And also, Braid doesn't kill the commander because yeah. it's a two-five. Oh, it's a five, of course. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then I'll, I'm done for the turn. Chunkiest rabbit ever. Yeah, it's a chunker. I will untap. Infinitely sad deck walls instead of opening his heart to everyone. Draw. Hmm. That's not land or anything useful. I don't know Ellie. Really. I really I don't know. <laughs> they must have like they must have forgot it was a white card when they built it. They must have thought it was a green card. Five toughness. I know right it's like <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> Do five, deal with it. Okay. Um, you, bolt, you, you have to Nahiri's Warcraft in the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, your walls are stupid. Four zeros, yeah? Uh, one zero. of them is a f zero four and one of them is a zero one. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's a zero one illusion. Yeah, illusions are zero one. Like yeah. Uh, cool. And you, uh, well, you care I've... about removing the illusions because it's the illusions mm -hmm. that allow Preston's ability. Yeah, fuck. Oh. There are all inexplicably other words on this card. <laughs> there are. There is, there is some, some text. I will I'll send the Seeker of Slanesh in you, Crypto. It gets a plus one from Judith, so it's a four three. So you can take four. Uh, four three. I think it's more than fair to just take four. I'm going to put your wall in front of it, you coward. <laughs> He will once then... he can flicker it. <laughs> and then nothing else to, to really do. You're up, Garrick. Tap. Draw for turn. That's an interesting one. Uh, I will play a mountain. Turn. Three, four, five. Uh, I will tap five, and I will cast a bigger on the inside target in the mountain. So it's basically uh, I can use I can uh, I can enchant an artifact or land, and I can tap it. Uh, target player adds two mana of any one color, and then the next row you can and has cascade. Very cool. It sounds like Doctor Hoosery, because I'm not familiar with it. There's class. a few of those in here, yes. Um, I have to attack. Hey, let's play. How you doing? This requires... Uh, I will move to combat. And send the face breaker at Cryptic. It is a two free menace. Yeah. I'm gonna avoid taking game life back later, it's fine. I'll take two. You can have a treasure. Yep. And I'll pass my turn. And tap. Draw for turn. Well, we are not sad to see that. Oh, that axe and EDH <laughs> yeah. Or Fry. Didn't Fry do like five damage if it was. If it was that white or, uh, oh, no, if it was blue yeah. or white, yeah. Yeah. Fry yeah. Back. Just for Preston. We're just taking <laughs> show, show up next, next stream. I just show up with Preston and everyone wants to play in mono bed and everyone's got copies of Fry. <laughs> Yeah. And Crypt is just playing protection from red. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Sword of, uh, so of, of fire, nice. 
<laughs> so we're going to tap for five, and we're going to cast this Witch King of Angmar. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Universe oh, is beyond, nice baby. Oh no. Uh, 5 3 flyer. Whenever one or more creatures deal combat damage to me, each opponent sacrifices a creature that dealt damage to you this turn. Uh, the ring tempts you. Discard Look a card. Which king of the Angmar gains indestructible until end of turn? And then tap it. Brave could have killed that too. Sure could. Pass her. At least it means that there's no there's no free attacks on me anywhere. Um, let's play Sun Scorch Desert. <gasps> no, <laughs> it's the wing con. It's a wing con. <laughs> Quick, write an article about mass land destruction. <laughs> uh, when it enters yeah, the battlefield, it deals one damage. Mac. He does one damage to target player. Uh, Luke, please take one damage from this desert. Get you prepared for the uh, uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction stream. <laughs> ah, down to 37. Love it. <laughs> Outrageous. Uh, it's awful, isn't it? I thought I'm it was, yeah. I'm down, though. It's my... I haven't done it yet, but it's my one of my favourite win cons in Orvar. And it does essentially the exact same thing as what Preston does with it. Uh, Faldorn's a 3-3, three, three, isn't it? Yes. Judith is a... A 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Um, I'll let you hit me. No, no. Kerry, <laughs> I'll, ta I'll, I'll attack you with a 2-5. would be surprised if we got something to <laughs> He's got a lot of mana. Ah, I'll just take the 2. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> That went better than expected. <laughs> I can't believe you got that free. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got two, three, two, com two free commander damage left. <laughs> I've played against him taking a punch, and that's the problem. I'm so used to him having an answer. Nah. It's when he doesn't, he can just use that against me. Instead. So, uh, I would like to pay five and cast AO the Dawn Sky. AO. Let's go. Appliance Delivery Company, let's go. That has so many things. It has lots of words on it. <laughs> do you want me to say what those words are, or do you want me to wait till I try and blink it with teleportation circle in the end step? I mean, I would like but someone just to it straight dies, kill it, it right dies, now. <laughs> it's when it dies, not when it ends the battlefield. Yep. I'd like to go to the end step. I would like to target AO with teleportation circle. Yep. Make a legendary spirit copy of it. Sacrifice it a copy of it. Yeah. Legendary spirit AO copy dies. Uh, whenever AO dies, I choose one. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of non-land permanent cards with a total mana value of four or less from among them onto the battlefield. Rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Or put two plus one plus one counters on each permanent you control. Let's say creature or vehicle. I'm going to choose the first mode. Vehicle bit, very relevant. Vehicle bit is incredibly relevant, but I'm going to choose the first mode. Seems correct. And look at seven cards. Total mana value for... The dragon care, I'm going to get this. Oh, do I get that? Two, zero, two, five, three... Ooh. That's also quite fun. Hey Sarah, how you doing? That's fun, but this is better. I'm going to get Restoration Angel. Oh well. Uh, Restoration Angel will enter the battlefield. Um, because it's entered the battlefield and I've not cast Restoration Angel, I get a copy of Restoration Angel. Nice. The original Restoration Angel will ETB and blink AO, and the copy Restoration Angel will ETB and blink Wall of Omens. Yep. Uh, we'll do the Wall of Omens ones first, because that's easier to pass. 
So we'll have a draw from this wall of omens and a draw from the the copy wall of omens that's being created. Draw two. And then this one will blink the AO and we'll do the same thing again. Seems good. Uh, to yeah, kind of feels like GG. Target on the stack. Are we dead? Depends on what I hit. Um, we'll yeah. get a white plume adventure. That's not a um, blinker. It's not a blinker, so but it is a initiative. Yeah, That's something new to the game. I'll get two. I'll get two in, uh, initiatives. initiatives. Um, and then I will be search my library for a basic land, and then I will scry two. We're off to the under city. Hooray! There's the basic land. So for the kids watching at home, Cryptic's essentially established a, a way to repeatedly loop if he finds one more thing that blinks on ETV. If I'd found um, Felidar Guardian, it was game over. Yeah. But I haven't found Felidar Guardian. Nice. Nice casual turn five. We like it. Yep. Helps have him. Solving and then arcane signal turn one, obviously. Uh, we'll bottom both on the scroll too. And um, that's me done. Yes, that is. Uh, we'll right. be putting the planes in the graveyard for cleanup. Draw. I'll play a blightstaff pathway. Oh, that's a lot of nonsense you got there, Cryptic. It is. Start killing it all. Please. Sorry, what? <laughs> Please start killing it all. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm right in thinking you only have four <laughs> illusions. I only have four illusions. Hey, someone has music on in the background. Do you mind turning it off it's before my, it's we my, get it's my phone. DMCA'd? It's, 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 my, it's, it's my phone and it's a ringtone. You'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, also, <laughs> could you put your phone on mute or put your phone somewhere else? I am gonna go send but I'll tell you, Karen, I'm afraid because I can't get through cryptic nonsense. So exactly, let's exactly. Just eat it. What's it for? Four, please, yes. There you go. Gonna attempt to cast animation. Oh. Carrot's first in the spot, uh, turn cycle. It's destroy all creatures. Uh, yep. I, I can't do anything. Pass. Hey, uh, no, pass through. Uh, I would like to pay two and cast my spell under foretell. Cosmic intervention. Didn't see it coming. If a permanent eye control would be put into the graveyard from the battlefield this turn, exile it instead. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Was that every permanent? All mine. Ah, oh, I thought you'd already played that. No, you foretold. When? I thought, I thought, you'd, yeah, I thought you'd already foretold. I thought you'd already played that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, flash GG then. Urgent, like genuinely. <laughs> right, damnation resolves. Blue gets two Judith triggers. These all get exiled and come back at the beginning of the next end step. Yeah, uh, I'll send two to your face, Crypto. I don't get mad. Your stuff's dead, Luke. I know, don't Oh, yeah, from the Judith. 
That's fine. Thank you for trying to help. Yeah, I'm annoyed, eh? Well, the thing is, it's it's either do it now or wait till his board advances further, and he does it anyway. So yeah. Oh, well, we're, well, we're being on his upkeep anyway, so it makes a difference. Uh, not necessarily. How are you gonna? So the illusions are gone, but all the other stuff comes back, which is all comes back Check. five cards, and then also create new illusions to replace them because they're, not, they're, they're entering then without being just. Dragon or dig I mean, it's not a deterministic win. It probably is. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, pass. Uh, end of your turn. The cosmic intervention delay trigger resolves. We get this. Um, we'll do... The Restoration Angels will target AO and the Wall of Omens again. Um, we'll resolve, create a treasure token. No, we'll resolve, go, go target creature, I'll go uh, Preston. Um, I'll draw a card with the two initiative triggers. Um, so I'll resolve, draw two from Wall of Omens. I'll resolve, go this and draw a card for my initiative. And then I'll resolve these Restoration Angels to blink this Wall of Omens and AO. And then I'll resolve the a original AO trigger. So I'll have two additional AO triggers after I draw this card. Um, I will have one of them be the first mode, and then I'll have the, the, the second one just be put two counters on everything. Uh, we'll get a Thought Vessel and a Charming Prince with the oh, AO trigger. There it is. Um, two Charming Princes, which are going to blink AO till the next end step and Restoration Angel till the next end step. Um, and then I'm going to put two plus one plus one counters on everything that's remaining. And then I'm, and then that's uh, the end of Luke's turn. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> yep. Uh, I will tap. Draw for turn. Let's do a forest. Don't know what the heal I can do right now with this, but. Oh, I'm just going to have to try this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sack my two treasures to foretell a card. I am then going to do two red. One, two, three, four. So that's for six. And do it. If, you're, if, you're, if you're planning on doing that, you have to wait till Baz's turn. You can only, you can't cast the spell you foretell <laughs> on the same turn you foretell it, but you can wait yeah. until Baz's turn to do it because it's an instant. Just just to no, be that's... absolutely clear. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried to, so it wasn't yeah. anything I thought about. Well, it is yeah. so I can do it at the start of his turn, basically. Only if it's an instant though, right? It's it is an instant. It is an instant. It is an instant. Uh, but it means he gets another, he gets his Charming Prince things, I believe. The Charming Princes will die. The White Bloom Adventurers will die. No, I, I mean, it wasn't your thing until the next end step. 
Yes. Yeah. So, so these will come. These will come back. back. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. So I'll pass. That's going to have to. <laughs> Next end step. Yeah. Another one of these. So did did you end up foretelling? Yeah, I foretold with the two treasures. Ah, two treasures, of course, of course. Yeah, and then I've kept mana up, basically. And then we get the AO will resolve. AO. But his I've thing's got, triggered at the end of my step, so. I've got two Restoration Angels, um, which are going to. One's going to flicker the AO, and one's going to flicker the original charm imprints. Hey, Jay. Um, the AO copy that dies is going to look at the top seven. No worries, Sarah. Uh, we're good. We're good. Start first. First game of many games today. So uh, we'll get a. It's not the best one, but it's still a Sutra Priest. Um, Sutra Priest. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield on my control, I may gain one life. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield on my opponent's control, I may have that player lose one life. Um, so I'll make a copy, which will, the copy will be seen by the original Sutra Priest, and I'll gain one. No, now I have to focus on what you're doing and update the UI. Uh, it does. There, there is not a win yet. It's close. Um, yep, yeah, carry on. Start my turn. Uh, Would you like to do something in my upkeep? Yes. Yes, I'll do something in your upkeep. I'll tap six, including the big on the inside for two red, and cast a delayed blast fireball. Um, so as it was cast from exile, it would do five damage to each opponent and each creature they control it instead. Um, would I do the cascade first or after? First. You would. You would. Yeah, you would cascade first. Okay, so uh, it is because it's. Would it be the four tower cost two. or the top one? I just want. You're looking for so, Cascade two. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah, it's okay. CMC of the card. Uh, analyze pollen, yay, which I think will just be find a basic land because I cannot um, evidence it. So I will find a forest and put it into my hand. So uh, yes, they will. This will survive. These will all die. These will die. Yeah, the, the counters lands. you put on it saved a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. I lose White Plume Adventurer. I lose Sutra Priest. I lose Restoration Angel. Um, and I obviously lose all of the Illusion copies. The Illusion. Um, but I keep Preston. I keep Wall of Omens. And I keep the things that put in exile. Okay. Uh, and I take five. Oh yeah, I take five too. Yeah, everyone takes five. Five, two, three, four, five. Update spell table. Go at thirty-one. Uh, these got five damage marks. Huh? Don't think I've ever had to hard cast that, but it was needed. Got to be done. Uh, okay, go to my draw step. Yep. There you go. Okay. Uh, well, we do. We will endeavor to keep trying. And uh, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll cast a baby Ugin. Baby Ugin. If I get a baby Ugin, I'm going to continue to pick on Cryptic for not doing fun things. I'm doing really fun things. I know, I'm, I'm really messing. <laughs> uh, so I'll tick uh, Ugin down to one. Uh, I'm going to destroy the teleportation circle. Which I think is correct. It would have been bloody AO, but here we are. Uh, and sadly, yeah, 
two of us having to tap out to deal with you, Cryptic. God damn it. <laughs> three of us, actually. Yeah. Pass turn. Or ev no, sorry, yeah. ev uh, end of end turn. turn. Yeah. Uh, we'll have an AO and a Charming Prince. The Charming Prince. The copy will blink AO. And the original will scry two, which will put over the top of the AO, AO death trigger. Yes. Two for five. Luke's got five lands. Baz's got four lands. Kerry, how many lands you got? Uh, five. Uh, yes, yeah. five, five as well. Okay, I'll um, I'll start on the scry two then. Uh, Ao, copy dies. Look at top seven. What well, we've seen a lot of the deck at this point. Lucky for all of you, that's a whiff. Hey, Death. Well, she's got to do it again. Would Cryptic deal with a deck with resilience and synergy? Ah, it doesn't sound like him at all. <laughs> right. Uh, let's play a planes. Where are we in terms of attacks on what? Oh, sorry, yeah, this was bleeds until the next turn step. Uh... I love that you had to approve that turn. That's absolutely amazing. Baz, I'll attack Ugin with the two with the charming prints. Seems correct. And Luke, I'll attack you for four with Preston. Two five. How has this happened? It, because it's got it's still got the two plus one plus one counters on. How many times has Preston killed someone with commander damage? Never. <laughs> <laughs> the day's the day, baby. He has a new goal. Before, before today, how many times has Preston turned sideways? <laughs> I mean, Never. it's the most I've ever. I've only played against it once, to be fair, but I don't suspect it's designed to turn sideways with that big old it blocking is, butt. It really isn't. <laughs> Um, we'll play a karmic guide. Oh, yeah. Uh, and when it enters the battlefield, we would like to target White Plume Adventure. Actually, I should have gone into the Undersea, shouldn't I? Ah, screw it. We've missed it all. Um, we'll just go from where I was. Um, I'll have a copy of White Plume Adventure if that resolves and enters the battlefield. It resolves. Um, so I'll go. I'll complete the Undercity, reveal the top ten cards of my library, put a creature from among them onto the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. It gains hexproof to the end of turn, then shuffle, and then I'll go in a second time afterwards and um, search for a basic land. Sounds good. Five, ten cards. I've seen a lot of deck at this point. Uh, yeah. We, we got there. Yeah, we'll get the Fellow Dark Guardian. Seems correct. Right. Fellow Dark Guardian. No. Yeah. Um, Fellow Dark Guardian, I'll have a token copy of Fellow Dark Guardian. The original will have hexproof until it gets blinked, basically. Um, so the copy is going to blink Fellow Dark Guardian, and the original is going to blink the Sun Scorched Desert. Sounds good. Um, so blink this, make a new copy that will then blink the Sun Scorched Desert again. I will continue to do that, pinging you each for one each time. Sounds great. With the Sun Scorch Desert. There we go. Uh, I'll do 28, 28 to Luke, 27 to Carrick, and then 31 to Baz. And if you gain life in the interim, I'll just do that damage anyway. Cool. Yep. 
Awesome. There we go. The, the exact predicted result came to pass. The turn, turn one, ring into Signet and put him, he's a massive, no, 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 that, massive that wasn't, factor. That wasn't the worst thing. Welcoming Vampire and Wall of Omens that early was the card advantage you got. GG's in chat, folks. Yes. Fine, Davy, does he? Right, let us face hot faces. Right, now I can have a breath and see what time it is and see when the next pod is supposed to start. The next pod is start due to start at 2. What time are we now? We can, if y'all would like to, we could shuffle up and go again. I don't mind. I don't mind. I can bring a Rionia to the table. I... if you would, would you prefer later. To... Community, Demi, you play whatever you like. Chat, this is why they only ever ask me on to play decks with build restrictions now anymore. <laughs> uh, in part. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we will get better at assessing your power level of decks <laughs> eventually. Uh, actually, no. I'm just gonna keep Star Scream. How is chat? Are, chat? Are we feeling? Are we feeling like a community? Are we feeling good? I feel really? like three of us united against Cryptic. So there's a lot of community in three of the people in the pod. It was indeed. Is chat, does chat genuinely want gin at the table? I don't think it, the, the, the pod wants gin at we the don't, table. We don't want gin at the table. I don't, I don't <laughs> do I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, I, I had enough fun just playing Mana Rocks this game. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that monocolor decks are fantastic at the moment. <laughs> they are. Mine didn't feel it, but I hear you. Uh, what about you, Luke? Are you sticking on Lucius, or are you... Sean's going to play Stovalar deck. No, because now I need to update all of the UIs. <laughs> no, this is, this, is just, this is just the other Luke. Yes, yes I'm going to play Tovalar. With my glasses on. I love, I love this unscripted stuff. Thanks so much for making my life easy. <laughs> it's a community day. Oh, I can't play Lucy's again if it's too much effort. Nah, nah, get Sean in. Plus, he's a better player than me. I'll have more fun. I did not mean to reset commanders. Sorry, guys, if you want to add your... Commanders to spell table. Yeah, I think I worked out what somebody who was asking earlier. Yes, it is an aura, which is the image which I use. It's a racing Final Fantasy. I believe that's what they were asking earlier when I was. Ah, nice. Ah, it was about the the portrait. Yes, that's that's uh, a representation of my fourteen character. Nice. See, we got there. We got there. I must admit, I was I was in the I was deep end of that I, I, question. I, I yeah. What? Well, I, I don't have the stream up, so I don't actually see the <laughs> image. Because <laughs> I'm trying to keep, keep my internet connection as smooth as possible. Oh, not, it is fine. You might have draw it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna mute, mute look. Get in there. There we go. <laughs> okay. So with. Yeah. That all being said, how are we doing, chat? Are we doing well? We hope you're doing well. If you made it this far on YouTube, uh, he played Lucius the Eternal. Lucius the Eternal. Be sure to drop us a like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thank you. I 
I think the the dogs come into play magic. Boo. Okay. Nobody likes that. Oh, we have a person. Oh, let's unmute Luke. There he is. Are you, are you sure someone's coming to play Luke? Come on. You know how Sean swaps cards between decks? Yeah. Oh my god. You know how we've only got 45 I minutes? I know. He's done now. He's done now. But Tovalar's quick. I can see that this was planned because Sean could have got all this ready before this now. <laughs> well, we didn't know how long game one would go, and obviously. Uh, let's, uh, let's be fair. You could, you could, you could have been preparing it from the moment I finished my penultimate turn. <laughs> Here he is. Hi, Sean. Hi. How you doing? Hello. How you doing? Hi. Lovely to have you here. Righty oh. Well, while we're getting ready, chat, we'll just quickly run a wee, a wee 30 seconds ad and we'll get Sean up to speed. And if you're watching YouTube, you get to hear us. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Fabby. Fab. Uh, Luke, could you show Sean how to add the commander to spell table? Getting a drink. Excellent. Cla classic. Throw you in at the deep end. And then if y'all want to do 2d6 and we'll see who's going first. Five. Six. Oh, eight to beat Sean. Is the legendary dice roller going to beat an eight? No. Seven. Second on the own, yeah. Let's go. Cool. Right. I'm pretty certain that's added in. It is, mate. Well done. Thank you all. Okay, let us jump back to spell tip. Fabi. And we are not on turn six, we are on turn one. So for those that are just tuning in or for those that might not be failure since this is your first appearance, Sean, who oh. are you and what are you playing? Uh Sean on the Discord um today. Total art, um, dire overlord. So usually I'm a filthy uh, sky player, but I thought I'd build a good cool deck for one to try and appease everyone. And uh, I quite like this one. So werewolves and just spam them as much as possible. Love it. Absolutely love it. Probably. Uh, okay. So for Sean's benefit. If we can go around the pod and introduce ourselves and what we're playing. So I'm in first, I'll go first. Hello, hi, it's Baz again. Still on Starscream, so Starscream cares about being the monarch and drawing cards. I'm not going to make people discard stuff. Uh, I'm just going to try and draw lots of cards. And Cryptic, what are you playing now? Hello, uh, I'm playing Brilliant yeah. Fire Dancer. So if you remember what happened not 15 minutes ago, uh, this is mono red version. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I abuse ETB effects, uh, this time by casting instants and sorceries and making token copies that go away at the end step instead. Absolutely, and we've heard from Sean. And Kerrick, for Sean's benefit, if could you introduce yourself and also what you're playing? Uh, Kerrick, or Thunder, and I'm playing Faldorn, lots of ramp, lots of exile, and hopefully lots of wolves as well. But mine okay. are just two two ones. I don't have I I didn't want to deal with night and day stuff, so I didn't bother with any of that in this. Oh wait, this is two headed giant. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fad Dabby Dozy. Okay. Uh, so if we can resolve mulligans. Yeah. Oh, good sense. Yeah, we're gonna mull that way. Good cards, but too slow.
had both the hands that I've drawn there just been one land, one land. And I was like, yeah, okay, nah, can't do that. Game's gonna be too fast for that. We could, it could work, but I was like, no, no chance. Yeah, you're playing on the luck of uh, top decking, which yeah. I have learned is never a good idea. No, it's not. I'm, I'm usually alright at the top decking, no arcade, but um, it's probably bite me in the back side today. Yeah. You need to add Sean's commander to the layout. Thank you for the heads up. Okay. So we are a little bit crunched on time. So we will endeavor to play smoothly as possible chat but we will be stopping about uh two five past ish the next pod will we'll, we'll bump because we started a little bit late look we can't can't keep bumping all the pods so if y'all want to continue resolving your mulligans so oh, good. good just good. me just me oh my goodness here's me giving folk reminders that we need to play faster and i can't draw a hand to save myself i'll go first then <laughs> no thanks. Well, you went last last time. I don't think it made much of a difference to you. <laughs> I, I did, didn't I? I've got that slightly wrong on my tracker. See what six I'm keeping. Oh. Let's see what five I'm keeping. Go to four. Go to four. If I have to, I will. God damn it. Basically, just need removal, removal, removal. Not even gonna get lands or anything else. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep a trash hand and then complain that I didn't draw anything. But also stop me from doing anything, which is fair enough. Uh, no, me. I would just like to do stuff. Don't really care about what other people do. Six, seven. Also, I'm at the one. Yeah, that's what I usually this deck is. It's just me do a bunch of stuff and see what happens because it's mostly at sorceries. <laughs> I mean, there's four instants in this deck. Okay, we are going to four. There you go. Nah, nah, nah. It's fine. The the the, the hand had no cards, so <laughs> and there's no point keeping. Joys of magic. Eh, it's okay. This this one's a little freebie. It's not often we get two two games in the same pod on the stream. This has lands. All right. <laughs> this is a four. God damn it. So we're keeping those. Keeping that. Even this. Oh, those are good cards. I don't want to put those in the bottom. But we are. Okay. Righty oh. Right, folks. Good luck, have fun. Yep. Drop it. Yep. Uh, swamp into Sol Ring. Pass. Draw. Mountain. Go. I can be normal. I can be uh, nice. He, he kept the soul ring arcing signal in his hand for next turn. Forest, uh, ascendant pack leader, and go. 
Nice. Draw, I do a Temple of Vandon, Scry, put it to the bottom and pass. Not gonna lie, Sean, having a creature really scuppers my plan of bringing in Monarch early. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Not often I play creatures. <laughs> not I, mate. Not I. Uh, but I think we're still going to do it anyway. So we're going to attack for three and cast the Living Metal side of Starscream. Uh, so Living Metal, important to remember, uh, only a creature on my turn. During your turns, it's not a creature. It has Flying Menace and Haste. Whenever Starscream deals combat damage to a player, if there is no Monarch, that player becomes the Monarch. And whenever I become the Monarch, convert Starscream. Go combat. Uh, Kerrick, welcome to the stream. In fact, no, Sean, welcome to the stream. Have a, <laughs> have a flyer, a 2-3. <laughs> I like the idea that it sort of is welcome to the stream for Kerrick, a game in. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't attack with a single creature. No, Luke hit me first last time, so I got the yeah. first. <laughs> it's a sign of respect. Uh, so, Sean, yeah, you exactly. become the monarch. So, at the end of your turn, if you're still the monarch, you get to draw a card. Pass turn. So that should have been turn two. I'll play a Ruby Medallion. My red spells cost one generic Lester cast. I'll pass the turn. Don't trust them. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Listen to how he speaks. When he goes low, he's cheating. <laughs> I was half tempted just to scream really loudly. <laughs> I'm glad you opted not to. We'll go. What did Foot Hells crack it? Fetch lands. Yeah. No coaching. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only Luke. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, taking Stomp, but I'm not going to pay because I'm not going to do that. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Uh, I'm going to pay one and play uh, Elf. That's not Llanowar, but the other one. Mystic? No. Fine tone. Oh, nice. And... Then we will pass. No, I said dominance. Get in the red zone. Yeah. So, so, Amy's correct. I still chose Preston on the stream. However, oh, Amy's also not correct because I'm playing the Preston deck. Uh, <laughs> See. Two, and I will foretell a card and pass. Okay. I'm going to pause for a moment while I catch up with the UI. Foretelling again. Whatever could it be? Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> you and you're the vanisher. <laughs> Press the <number> red. <laughs> okay, start turn. Uh, Sean, did you draw for being the monarch? Uh, no, I did not. Go for it, mate. Go for it. Draw for turn. Okay, so we're going to play the swamp. And then we're going to go two, uh, leaving one floating to cast a Shadow Spear. Um. Uh, and then I'll tap one to equip it to Starscream. And then we're going to go into the red zone. And Sean, I would very much like my monarchy back. So I'm going to send three in the air at you. Three. That's no more. Round you, coward. I know. One, two, three. I'll gain three because of Shadow Spear. And then I'll become the Monarch, which means Starscream will transform. And then we will simply pass turn. Enter. Uh, we'll play another mountain. We'll pay one for <laughs> the post-transition charming prince, charming scoundrel. Oh, nice! 
um, when Charming Scoundrel enters the battlefield, I will create a treasure token. Um, I'll move to combat. Because it's got haste. Me? As I'll attack you for one. I would like that monarchy. Take one. Uh, and then second Starscream main... Starscream triggers I'll... becomes the living metal side. That's fine. And Shadow Spear That's falls off. Um, I'll use my treasure and two... Uh, reduced by one to cast Atsushi, the mono red AO. <laughs> I had that in my hand for most of the game yet last the last match. I, I, I love Atsushi, it's a great card. <laughs> um, Just couldn't will, play it, there's no chance. <laughs> I will pass the turn and draw a card from being the monarch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> On top. Uh, you better be playing the Black Blitz Dragon and Kamigawa. I'm not. Oh, okay. Menton. Well, tap. Yeah, we'll tap. We'll tap three. And we'll cast a ward. And now it's deep. And then Ascendant Pack Leader. That's I'll go for you. Two one or is it buff? Two one. Uh, to, 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 to two one because uh, it's not a spell with value four or greater succeeded. Gotcha. Uh, plus one plus one. Take two, go to forty. And total large effects. So I get to draw a draw card because I wolf dealt combat damage. Draw. Hey, turn next. Welcome in. Uh, we are in. We are in the uh, the PC. PSU. Preston uh, Pass. Okay. Tap. Draw for turn. I will do a forest. Tap three. Kadoma's reach. And I will go find a mountain for hand and, and I'll pass just to make it quicker. Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you. And tap. There. Starscream is a creature again. And draw to hand. Uh, I think oh, that one taps too. I think we'll go immediately to combat and we'll swing this flying menace haste star scream at you, cryptic. Yeah, can't bluff, got menace. You can have your monarchy left. Yay, got me. Star scream transforms and the monarch. Take me a piece. I think we're just going to have to. Ooh, high motorbike. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think this is more important. So we're going to go for two and two. Uh, one floating, cast a Phyrexian Arena which is Inferexian, which is helpful for those that do or don't know what it does. Uh, yep. In my upkeep, draw one, lose one. I also realise I was the Monarch and I forgot to do damage last time. Anyway, uh, move to end step. Monarch, draw a card. Yeah. Uh, Carrick, you're on 40. You're now on... 40, sorry, 38. Because of Starscream's ability when I drop. And tap. Uh, play a mountain. Uh, two for a ceiling song. As five for it. Use four of that red for the other one. Uh, use the remaining red 
and discarding with this wily goblin to cast demand answers to draw two cards. Draw two. Uh, move to combat. Uh, I have a Riona trigger to and targeting at sushi uh, to make three copies of at sushi. Yep, one plus X. Uh, all three of those copies are legendary and will die. I've seen this trick before. Yep. <laughs> um, two of them will make three treasure tokens, and the other one will exile two cards from the top of my library, and I may play them till the end. My next end step. Uh, Sorry, my uh, next turn, sorry. So I'll make uh, six treasures and exile top two cards, which are a mountain and a mountain. Baz, I'll, I'll attack you with the original Atsushi for the monarchy. Absolutely. Before. One, two, three, four. Go with 36. Um... I'll play second main an Imperial Recruiter. Ooh, that's nice. Search my library for a creature with power two or less, put it into my hand, and then shuffle my library. Don't you do that. <laughs> I don't have Kiki Jiki in the deck anymore. Don't worry. No, it's the other one. What the what other one? Luke only gets upset about like four things and keeps coming back to it. It's, he's talking about Dockside. <laughs> You know that I don't play Dockside in this deck, Luke. I know, but did you, you know the boy? He gets upset about everything, even yes. when it's not real. What What we have to remember, <laughs> Luke, is that you're remembering Baz's plagiarised version of Rionia oh, that did play. <laughs> Sorry, Cry Cryptic's got the only Rionia deck on the internet, therefore everything's a copy of his. I would love, yeah. <laughs> love to have an ego that big. <laughs> um, we're going to go and get... Oh, oh, an an prodigy. Eh, I'd an elementalist for now. Gets my instance and sorceries back. Oh, spell table. Oh yeah, I got the horrible black and white version that spell table hates. Yep. That's all right. Uh, spell table's just struggling today at my end for everything. Four mana ETB return an instant or sorcery from graveyard to the hand. Um, I will pass the turn there, and I'll draw from my Monarch. Right, we will play a uh, Grove for the Burnwells. Tap. Mountain, play Village Messenger, and we'll tap three, four, and then play Huntmaster of the Fells, a trigger on Ascendant Packmaster, plus one, plus one. Oh, cheers, man. And then I'll get myself a wee wolf token if I can find my deck boxes. Village Messenger and Ascendant Packmaster will go at yourself, Kirk, and uh, Togolar will go at Baz. So that's four total for uh, Kirk and three for Baz. One, two, three. And trigger on day three, and I get to draw three cards.
and that's me all in turn. Sensei's top. Very nice. Um, am I? Am I the only person who can't hear Kevin? I was so. just going to ask that. I was like, I can't hear Kevin. All right, my bad. I, I, the dog started barking. Oh, uh, cultivate, <laughs> get two lands. Uh, Sensei's dividing top. Pay. Look at the top three. Pass. There we go. Yeah. I muted because I thought I, the postman had arrived and the dogs will. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I was go like. Back. Oh, no, no. It's like, no, no, normally he announces what he does in his turn. Now. Yes, What's going no, on here? usually I do. I just wanted to. <laughs> yeah, and I, I looked at the top three and rearranged. Okay. So. okay. There we go. Start turn. On top. Uh, oh, Star Scream, sorry, is the other side. Uh, there's another creature again. Uh, Phyrexian Arena triggers. Draw a card, lose a card. Lose a card, lose life. 35. Yep, yeah, got combat. Cryptic. Yep, yeah, sure. Kind of like coming at ya with a 2-3 in the air. 2-3 in the air, I'll take another 2. Fear me. I will become the monarch. Post combat main phase. Yeah. I'll tap for 2 and I'll cast this Gifted Aetherborn. Nice. Uh, Very two, nice yeah. version. A beautiful version. Uh, two, three, Death Touch lifelink. And then we yep. will ship it. Uh, end of turn, draw a card. Uh, this time, Cryptic, you can just do. Yeah. Can him even in out the life totals. So that's here. I'm here, here to play fair, fair painfully fair magic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to draw, I'm going to play one of my lands with that I had exiled about sushi. Uh, How dare you play that correctly. I'm going to... I'm going to use a treasure and I'm going to lightning bolt Hunt Master of the Fells. Oh, look at you with also your fancy. Sure. Um, I'm going to pay five reduced by one for a trumpeting carnosaur. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a seven six with trample. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I discover five, and then it has other words that care about me discarding it from hand, which are no longer there. But if it ETBs, I'll discover five. Okay, I'll I'll get a humble defector. Nice. I'll cast that humble defector. A whale humble defector is on the stack. Yep. I would like to tap for two, one floating, and cast a shielded's edict, choosing each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. That's fine, I won't respond to this. So each opponent sacrifices a non token creature, sorry. Non token. Okay. Uh, we will get. That's fine. Oh. Post transition <laughs> charm imprints will uh, be sacrificed, unfortunately. Bye. I'll get rid of the, the elf. Stack's clear. 
And you have a humble defector cryptic. Yay! This is really good with Rune, but I don't want to make copies of it right now. Um, move to combat. Rionia is creates two copies. It will target Trumpeting Carnosaur. Seems good. Uh, each of those will discover five. First one. Pyretic Ritual. I'll choose not to cast it. I'll choose to put it into my hand. As I am allowed to discover. The second one. Stun. I will again choose not to cast it. I'll, choose, I'll put it into my hand. Um, I'll send a 7-5 Trample at each of Baz and Sean. And I'll send a 4-4 Flying Trample at Kerrick. Take four. Seven. I will take the seven. It's a seven six, you naughty, naughty boy. Seven six, I. Um, and then I'll go to my end step after we've done that, and the copies will get exiled. I am the monarch again. And we'll draw a card. Okay. Wait, I'm math wrong, I think. That was on 35. What's that? 20. Okay, we will. Sure, 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 sure. Cards in hand for everyone. We uh, have seven. three. Three. Five. Five. It smells like Jess as well. Seven. Jessica as well for seven. And XL top three as well. Which is Nature's Lore, Goblin Archimancer, Beastmaster's Ascension. Well, cast. Five left. I'll cast the Peace Master's Ascension. Still got five. Welcome, just home. How are you doing? Yes, we do. We do play online. We, we are in fact playing online right now. I hope you're well. I play game trail for land and show forest. Three of this, so I've still got two left. And yeah, three of that on the game trail, and we'll cast decimate. Ooh. Um, so we'll get rid of the. Is anyone that's ever ring? Anyone responses to it first? Um, uh, uh, well, once you've t I yeah, might have responses target. once you target. Uh, Phyrex and Arena for the enchantment. Jet medallion. Or the red ruby medallion, sorry. Um, Riona for the creature. And... I'm going to be so sad if you pick a mountain. <laughs> a, a mountain off a cryptic as well. Uh, I will then be responding to Decimate. Sure. Uh, I would like to deflect and swap the Decimate. Fun. Uh, I may choose new targets for target spell or ability. Look at these free spells. Loving this. <laughs> I know. These free spells. Loving this. So instead of targeting my 
this will target the Shadow Spear. Instead of targeting Rionia, we'll have it target Tovalar. Instead of targeting the Phyrexian Arena, we'll have it target Beastmaster's Ascension. And instead of targeting my land, we'll have it target uh, your Grove of the Burn Willows. Well. Oh, dearie me. No, it doesn't, Yerma. It says, you may choose new targets for target spell and ability. I target a single spell, and I get to rearrange all the targets of that spell or ability. No. Right, so, trying to work out what did or didn't activate. Uh, three, three, no, five. So that would go up by two... Of... Nope, one. I go up by one because of decimate. So, we'll send the pack master at. Thaz uh, will send it at your cell for four. Does it have trample? It does not. I totally forgot that was there. I say I'm open. I care, it will send it yourself for four. And then we'll pass the turn and I'll drop off. Okay, I will untap, draw for turn, and hopefully actually get to cast this. We'll see. Um, I'm going to tap seven. Atali. Oh, hi. <laughs> Put to the top. Unfortunately, no commander for wolves, but... I will have zero to say about that. I have no response to Itali. Nah, none. Okay. Itali is reveal until... Uh, yeah, each player exiles cards from the top of the library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of them. Uh, exiled this way without paying. Uh, you ex so for me, you get darkness, which is uh, prevent all combat damage, combat damage this turn. Lovely. For, for me, you get a red dragon, which is ETB, deals four damage to each opponent. Uh, it's a, a full moon's rise. Werewolf creatures gain plus one, plus zero, sacrifice it, regenerate all werewolf creatures you control. Oh, it's an enchantment. Nice. Enchantment. Um, okay, one second. I've got some blanks here. And I believe you do yourself as well. Okay. Is it? Uh, oh, it is me. Sorry. I was thinking of the other one. Uh, both Italians do, uh, do all players, yeah. Uh, uh, Ourobras. Heretic nice. Praetor. So, first draw for everybody else is an impulse draw, and I get an extra impulse. So, I guess I will play the dragon. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't say no uh, to that. <laughs> What what's it's a you said a red dragon was it? It, it is it is a red dragon. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it up, so I forgot. Four I four four yeah. Um, Everybody take four. It's a four four. So this is why I love to have my commander out. Hey, Taco Tony. Um, We're currently four, four, resolving five. an Atali stack. See, there's a reason you got those tokens ready, Carrick. Uh, <laughs> yes, and then the enchantment. I guess I might as well cast, because I don't think there's any reason not to. So what was the enchantment, sorry? The... The shot in the Oh, sorry. Uh, the camera, full moon rise. Werewolf creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, oh, and have trample. And then you can yeah. sacrifice full moon rise to regenerate all werewolf creatures you control. Eric. Oh, it's werewolves, damn. 
I was hoping it might include walls, which would have been quite actually useful. Um, I don't think I've got any werewolves in this deck, so there's yeah. not much. Well, you don't, you don't darkness. need to cast it. No, I know. So I'm trying to work out whether I should. And then darkness is just combat damage until end of turn. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so that is. So I got a dragon at least. I mean, that's a pretty and good a hit. Traitor. Yes. And I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, out of mana. No point in sending that at anybody, really. So I will pass. On top. Starscream is a creature. A Frexian Arena, draw one, lose one. We'll play this land for turn. Did you do? Did you, did you do your impulse? For your draw, for your draw I step. did not. Is impulse before or after natural draw? You don't have a draw. It replaces so your draw. You, okay. you don't have a natural draw. Nice. Your normal draw is just an impulse. My draw was swap. I will play a swap from exile. Thank you. Six. No, we're going to have to continue taking the monarch back until I figure out a way to uh, draw answers that currently aren't in my hand. Uh, combat. Cryptic, I will send this 2-3 at you. I have no blocker for it anyway, even if it, even if it didn't have menace, so take two. I will become the monarch. Huzzah. Uh, I will... Oh, wait, I did that wrong. I get Phyrexian Arena, then I get an Impulse Draw. Ah, well, we yeah, that. that's what we're saying. You, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you're asking about your, your natural right. draw. Impulse will be... Oh, Shield of the Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fantastic. I wonder if he's going to cast that. I wonder, you know but what? no one's I drawing, might, so you're cool. I might, I might not remove this Overbrass now. <laughs> 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 oh well, it'll maybe give me some time with some life. Uh, and then we'll move to end step. Uh, Monarch will trigger. Yep. I'll draw. Uh, shielded will trigger. I'll gain two. And then Starscream will trigger. We will continue to ping you cryptic for two. Yep. And that will be turn. My impulse was on the mountain. That seems fine. Let's play the mountain. I am the mountain. Uh, Wait, let's catch up with chat a bit. Take four. <laughs> Need two extra cards. Give this to. No, we'll do this way first. Um, I will cast stun. Target creature can't block. Um, the target can't block this turn. I draw a card. No spell table. Cryptic does not have any planes in his deck. I'll lose two to Shieldred. Got him. Uh, we'll cast Pyretic Ritual for three red. We'll use my three red to cast Ardent Elementalist. Uh, when that ETBs. I would like to target the deflecting swat. Oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, I didn't the first time, but <laughs> saw that I don't think anybody saw that one yeah. coming. We have to reevaluate. I'm then going to the Warriors Justice, my own ardent elementalist. Uh, it shuffles 
target, uh, target artifact or creature with mana value one or greater into its owner's library, then that player discovers X where X is that permanent's mana value. Cool. So it does nothing. You just get a trigger. No, it shuffles this into my library, and then I discover four. Okay. <laughs> or one or greater. Oh my god, I can't read. Yeah. yeah. Or I can, but I just choose to stop reading, apparently. <laughs> so I'll discover four. You and you got a lot of little tune-ups with the discover mechanic. Discover's fantastic. That's like, for this deck. Choose to put it in hand? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, I've just... I, that, those trumpeting carnosaurs hit Pyretic Ritual, which I don't want to cast mid-combat, and Stun, which I didn't want to cast that combat. Yeah. Great. Put me into my hand instead. Um, discover four. Uh, I will hit a Tormentor Exarch. Um, Tormentor Exarch enters the battlefield. Target creature gets plus two plus O oh to the end of turn, or target creature gets minus zero minus two to the end of turn. Oh, nice. Um, I think we're going to give. Um, you wouldn't kill a wolf, would you? No, not at this point. It, that seems really harsh. <laughs> Compa com com comparatively, when there's the other things are on the board. True. Um, we'll give Urbask minus zero minus two to the end of turn. And then we'll move to combat. And I'll have a Reonia trigger. Um, I've cast three instants and sorceries this turn. So I'll be making four copies of the target, which it will be Trumpeting Carnosaur. Uh, we're on a five minute warning, folks. Four Trumpeting Carnosaurs into the battlefield. Each of them discover five. First one. Uh, we'll hit a mana geyser, which I will put into my hand. Second one, we'll hit a fanatic of Mogus, which I will cast. Fanatic of Mogus ETBs. It deals damage to each opponent equal to my devotion to red. Nice. Uh, which is two, four, uh, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. Nice. So you each take 20. Lovely jobly. You did give a five minute timer. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> discover five a second. A third time is a combat celebrant, which I'll put into my hand. And a Tibbox trickery, which I'll put into my hand. Cool. Uh, yeah. Go to combat, win the game. Uh, go to declare attacks. Um, Baz, you're at four, aren't you? Because of I am. Yeah. It's right on the stream. It's just wrong on spell table. Yeah. Um, I'll send a trumpeting carnosaur at two trumpeting carnosaurs at Baz. A trumpeting carnosaur and two trumpeting carnosaurs at. Uh, Sean, a trumpeting carnosaur, and an Atsushi at Carrick. And. Paz can block eight, but then I'm doing. I'm going two, go six, and I'm doing additional amounts. Uh, I'm not blocking. We're at the end of the game. Yeah. That's uh, fine. I don't have I enough to stop you doing it next turn. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think I could live with one So, but no, there's no point. <laughs> Alrighty, good games. Well played, Cryptic. Thank you. I have to say, this has been interesting, which is hilarious because this is, I think, the first time, two times in a row, I have not made a single wolf <laughs> without <laughs> done in two games. <laughs> is your deck supposed to do that? 
Yeah, surprisingly, it it it, it does that quite a lot. Uh, Cry- Cryptic knows that from yes a few times going against it, and it, yeah, not not one. <laughs> I'm glad I showed my tokens off at the start because nobody would have got the fucking. Bless. <laughs> that happens sometimes, man. That's just magic. Oh yeah, yeah. It did, exactly. That's, that's why I had the more. exact amount for Atali. So it's like, as much as I would love to command Atali next turn, it in. <laughs> you gotta just roll the dice for the uh, the big one. Definitely. No, you got to cast Atali, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, I saw it on the top three. I was like, I'll put that on top and hope I don't get it milled or got them. <laughs> Even if it Love did, it. I should have been able to tap the um, divining top to draw and put the divining top on top. So, nice. just in case. Love it. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us for pod one. Cryptic, Sean, Kerrick, and Luke as well. You, that's, look at us squeezing people in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> great, uh, great thought to include uh, Sean. Look, if you're, if you can I apologise, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the SWAT was. A, I was like, right, I yeah. was there for it, and then it's like SWAT, and I went, oh, something in red. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all good. Because I, I thought the Beastmaster would come in. I'll try and get the tokens on it as quick as I can. And I had Temple of the Hordes in hand, and I was like, if this goes through. I've got two turns and I could get it, and then you just hit SWAT, and I'm like, well, that's it. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Okay. Well, folks, we are going to cut to a little intermission uh, while we get the second pod ready and I update all the UI and stuff. Uh, but stay tuned, and we'll be right back with the second pod in about five minutes ish. Probably. See you in a bit.
<laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back. We're live with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Studio, Studio mode did me dirty, dirty there, there on, on OBS, OBS for those, for those that are aware. Uh, so, so I, I've, I've already said hello to everybody, and I, and I uh, uh, forgot, forgot to switch, to switch us back live, live properly. So, so welcome, welcome in everybody. In everybody. Hope, hope everyone's, everyone's doing, doing well. well. Uh, time, time, time to focus, focus up. Get ready, Get ready for, for pod two. Drutter Cup, welcome in. I hear you're from another community. Ah, yes, Drutter Cup is one of my lovely mods. Big shout out to mods here. If Cryptic is back in chat as well, then. Oh, he'll, oh, he'll, be, he'll be lingering, lingering somewhere. somewhere. But yes, but yes cryptic, cryptic, congrats, congrats on, on double wins on pod, on pod one. one. Thank you, Thank you Kerry, Kerry and, and, and Sean, Sean, Sean for joining us on pod one. What's that? What's that? One point five, five for, Sean? for Sean. So yes, so, yes. So, as so as you can see, we have two other lovely people joining us. We have we have Chrono to my to my my left. Hello, hello, Chrono. How are you? How are you? Yeah, doing well. Fab, fab. And we have we have the wonderful Amy below me. Below me. Read, into, read that. into that how you, how you will. Oh, apparently, double audio from somewhere on oh, on you, Baz. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Double, double audio. audio. Yeah. That should be it fixed. Uh huh. Uh, I'm just here to 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 mess with my own stream. Apparently, <laughs> apologies. That should be it muted now. Thank you, Druter, for uh, spotting that. See mods. Just the, the absolute backbone of all streams, <laughs> even when they're not our mods. <laughs> and yes, the lovely Amy joins us as well. Hello, Amy. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm good. Like, there's only been 20 technical problems since we since we started at 12, you know. So, yeah. You know, we're not behind schedule, which is, well, we're kind of ish, but not yeah. too bad. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Refueled, ready to crack open a chocolate bar and fuel up a little bit. But the hunger pangs have started. <laughs> but su such is the streaming for more than three hours life. Yep. Yep, definitely. Okay, so let us jump in to the pod and let everybody see what we're playing. Yeah. So Luke just got high roll. So Luke <clears throat> will be setting us off. So for those that are just tuning in and for those perhaps watching on YouTube later, Luke, if you want to introduce yourself and your deck. I think it's uh, it's a pretty strong commander uh, once it gets going. So, we... yeah. Yeah, and you yeah, know I mean... you, and and you know you're not facing the precon that has the one card that shuts off dog meat completely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've played five games with my dog meat deck, and I've won three of them. So, <laughs> not too bad that deck. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I, I haven't touched mine. I haven't touched it. Same as a precon. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a, a message to everyone to put over encumbered in your decks. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> that's that's one of the two games I lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> rough. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> excellent segue. <laughs> and Amy, you're in seat two. How are you? Who are you? And what are you playing? Who am I? That's a that's a good question, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Existentialism I, uh... right now. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the uh, co-host, uh, the the better half of the hosts of a uh, War Room EDH. Uh, yeah, and so we stream every couple of weeks on Tuesday. The next stream's this Tuesday coming, uh, which will be about Easter stream. So playing some some nice uh, food decks, food themed things, reanimation themed themes, themed <laughs> things. Yeah, should be a, should be good fun. I uh, heard you like some themes with your themes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but today I'm playing not mono white for once. Uh, I'm playing uh, my Multani Yavamaya avatar deck. Uh, it's just basically green. Get loads of lands, make a giant tree, try and hit you with it. 
That sounds a fair magic card in green. Sim hmm. Simple and fair, yeah. yeah. Mm. Green doing green things. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe in the deck. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You wouldn't tech for that, would you? And hello, me, Baz. I'm still in the top left. And I, oh, I've done it again. I haven't changed my own damn commander. Still <laughs> focused on everyone else. Oh, I'm such a donut. So You've I'm got on... a lot to do, Baz. So don't worry do. about it. No, I do. I get caught up. Volo, Master Chef. Uh, I'm on background paintings from Baldur's Gate? Question mark. <laughs> so Volo. When he enter, enters the battlefield, he creates a legendary artifact called Volo's Journal. It has hexproof, thankfully. Uh, and whenever I cast a creature spell, I note down the creature type that hasn't been noted for this artifact. So this is a creature-focused deck that has lots of different creature types, of which I will document. There are many, many, many types. So this is really just to <laughs> keep, keep myself on track for not... Uh, uh, playing improperly but we'll see so as you'll probably see there's lots of one drops or one of a kinds rather uh, to maximize on the effect the deck wants to draw lots of cards uh, and master chef is going to give so long as my commander's on the battlefield uh, it's going to give every creature that enters the battlefield a plus one plus one counter when it enters so i'm gonna do some shenanigans with creatures that are small that's it draw lots of cards there is a there is a thassa's oracle in it I've <laughs> never, I've, I've never once cast it or seen it, but it's really, just, it's just like the final thing in case I yeah. get to a point where I, I draw because there's untappers, so we're gonna, we're hoping to, to tap Volo a lot, uh, and we're hoping to tap it so much that there's not many cards left in the library, but it's not particularly fast, uh, but it, when it gets going, it does big things eventually. Chrono, welcome. Who are you? Oh. How are you? And what are you playing? I'm good, thank you. Hi, I am Chrono, aka Chrono Magistrate, aka Anil, and I am a chill variety streamer uh, here on Twitch as well as being as well as being one of the mods uh, for for Shadow Gang. Um, and I am playing Kemba Car Regent, uh, the the OG Cat Lord. Um, she is a, a Voltron Commander kinda. She wants to be loaded up with equipment. Uh, and will make cats for the amount of tools that she is carrying. This is a cats and equipment. Almost all the cards in here are cats, uh, or creatures in here are cats. Um, there are a few others to just help round out the equipment synergies. Um, but yeah, I either want to go tall or I want to go wide. Uh, I have one of those two, and I hope to win that way. <laughs> like it. Fabi. Well, does everyone have starting hands? Yep. Yeah. Fab. Well, look, it takes away. Cool. I shall draw. Uh, I'm just going to uh, play a forest and pass. Curious. Draw for turn. I'm going to drop this Opal Palace and also pass. Okay. I will draw. That's nice. But uh, we will start with a Wind Brisk Height and I will look at the top four. It's got a hideaway. <laughs> I was going to say, put, you should put a Ruinous Ultimatum underneath it. <laughs> uh, I will put that underneath it and these on the bottom of my library and say go <laughs> no at, at present i only have one copy of farewell and that, it is not in this deck <laughs> was that pass as well was it yeah cool i shall draw I shall uh, play a forest, uh, and I shall nature's law to get another forest into play, uh, and then uh, I don't have any other one mana plays. So I shall pass. Do, I do believe that's a rolling rollick, not a forest. I picked up a forest, and then I <laughs> must have. 
I saw Forest. They do look very really similar, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, pass. On top. Draw. And we'll play. <sighs> play a forest. And then we'll tap for two. And then we'll cast an Ecologist Terranium. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a basic land, reveal it, put it into my hand, and then shuffle. And then it has an activated ability of two in sack. Uh, put a 1 1 counter on target creature, but only as a sorcery. So I'm going to go get an island and put it into my hand. I believe that would give me one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll give me seven cards, and I will pass. Cool. <clears throat> uh, untap, draw. Okay, that doesn't change my mind. I'm going to play Cathedral of War, which enters tapped. It has Exalted uh, and pass the turn. That's, that is a really nice uh, utility land. Mm. Yeah, I love that one. It's got in a fair few decks as well. It's, it's, it's particularly nice having it at the start when you might be able to just get in like a cheeky little bit of damage. Uh, uh, and then sit there. <laughs> nice, very good card. Ooh. <clears throat> And draw. And I will play a Corsair of Crucifix. Oh, that's also a good <laughs> enchantment. Uh, and I look at, play the top card when I revealed. It is a Summer Bloom. Uh, so then I will play this Rogue's Passage for turn. Gain and I gain a life. She's winning. <laughs> I will then pass the turn. On top. Let's draw. Okay. So we have an island. We like an island. And yes, I think we will just go three and we'll cast Volo. Internant Scholar. So when it enters the battlefield, if it does enter the battlefield, which I think it will, <laughs> uh, I create a artifact called Volo's Journal. It has hexproof, and whenever I cast a creature spell, note one of its creature types that hasn't been noted in the artifact. And then Volo has an activated ability for two and tap, draw a card for each creature type noted in the permanent. So it currently has and <laughs> Not this turn. <laughs> At some point. Uh... Uh, uh, I will keep I'll keep track of the total as well as the actual So types. actually question. If the journal gets blown up, uh, does yes. it have to start again or does yes. it keep the right? Yeah. Again? Yeah, yeah. So it's specifically uh, on it's on the permanent. Yeah. Okay. So if the permanent goes, uh, sure. I would have to find a way to recast. Yeah. Which is why I say thankfully it has hexproof because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's rough, <laughs> rough, rough. Uh, Buster. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just gonna keep doing that. <laughs> it's officially uh, a bit. <laughs> I'll play planes and then we will also go for Commander and Kemba. So two four. Uh, cat cleric at the beginning of my upkeep put a cat token into play uh, for each equipment attached to her uh, and pass the turn <clears throat> oh dear
I feel like a trendsetter. Is this what this is this what this feels like? This is cool. <laughs> Creature type, goodest boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goodest boy is a is a double um uh, a double uh, type like Time Lord. You get junk jet, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, junk jet's not a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> double. <laughs> double. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, cool. So, uh, untap. Draw my summer blue. Reveal the top. It is a moss warp bridge. And I will. I will play the Moss Warp Bridge uh, in tap and look at the top four. Uh, do you get to see the top one, I think? Mm. Yeah, you get to yes. see the top one. Top one's a Stone Cedar Hierophant. Is it four? Yeah, four. I think I'll play that one under there. Do these ones on the bottom. And then reveal the top, and the top is a Riveter's Overlook. Nice. Hey, and you got the one from the bridge coming in? Uh, yep, sorry, yeah, one life from the bridge coming in. It's okay, it's rare that I catch it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, What's I going on? to celebrate the moment. Oh, strict. Uh, I, I, I would love a plain version of, like, Yavimaya or Urborg. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play some of Bloom. Uh, so, look, if they're not going to reprint Thera Sanctum, get, please give us, uh, please give us that. Uh, I get three additional lands. This land drops this turn. So my first one's going to be Riveter's Overlook, which is going to come in, give me a life, immediately sacrifice, give me another life, and go get a forest, which will get you another life. Which okay. get me another life, which is tapped yeah. as well. So. <laughs> I've seen the top as well. The top, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's gone. <laughs> but yes, I think I don't know if they've officially said it, Strix, but I don't think they're actually going to print any more of the the lands like that. I'm What's so that? Sad. <laughs> uh, the Yavamaya. So you've got Yogmoth. Not I mean, Yorgmoth. it's only the two, y Yorgmoth and, uh, uh, sorry, Urborg and Urborg. Yavimaya. Because no, no. so you're I'm never getting gonna... islands. Oh, no. God, no. <laughs> the, the top card is Avenger of Zendikar. Uh, I'm going to cycle a slippery cast and draw the Avenger of Zendikar. Mm -hmm. Reveal the top. Oh, my. It's a Terramorphic Expanse. So I'm going <laughs> to play Terramorphic Expanse, gain life. Uh, I've got one more land drop. I'm going to say you've got one more, yeah. Get a Thank you for, for visually representing it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's easier to. I, I, there's so many game actions to take in between that it's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll put a dice on it just in case, just to remember. And then reveal the top. It's a strip mine. So I'm going to play the strip oh, mine. Oh, God. Uh, and then this is goes top of my library in the uh. forests. Oh no. Oh no. I'm about uh, to be in trouble. <laughs> and then I, then I shall pass the turn. Oh, on tap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gain a life from the strip mine as well. Uh, Brace. Yeah, I've got you at 48. Fab, fab, fab. Uh, play this waterlogged grove as land for turn. And then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to cast Master Chef. Actually, it might be helpful if I do a blue and a green die. Maybe that would 
be a sensible thing to do rather than that. So one each. Okay, so we have a Master Chef, uh, which uh, gives my commander the ability <clears throat> of when a creature enters the battlefield, it enters with an additional plus one plus one. So if my commander isn't here, not to tell you how to deal with it, uh, this enchantment does nothing because it's a background that cares about my commander. Damn these fair cards. <laughs> Speaking of fair cards. So we are going to cast this Phyrexian Walker for zero. Uh, it will enter with a plus one plus one. So it'll be a one four. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the creature type of Phyrexian. I will. Is it will. not a construct as well? Or oh, that's a good point. Actually, I think it might. It's a Phyrexian construct. I think so yeah. Scryfall, save me. Phyrex Walker. Yep, yeah, Phyrexian construct. So yeah, we're gonna say Phyrexian. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you only pick one of them. Okay. I tell you about. No, I'm gonna pick construct. <laughs> I don't have another Phyrex in my hand. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, so yes, construct is one. I then we're going to cast this stone called stone coil serpent for Ooh. zero. It will enter with a plus one plus one. I will put snake as the creature type. So we are two. Oh, I'm such a donut. I've done it again, like I do every time. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm going to hurt myself for one, go to 39 to tap for green. And I'm going to cast this Wildwood Scourge for 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 X is zero. So we will put Hydra in the book as well. And if I had done it correctly, this would be bigger. But I didn't do it correctly because ah. mm -hmm. I'm a donut. And my deck has officially done its trick. I have... Mm -hmm. Four cards in hand and no mana available. Pass turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Don't want to draw that now. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, let's put a target on my land for the strip mine. Uh, we'll play Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. Uh, uh, however, I only have Devotion of Two at the moment. Um, I will kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I tap for four and I will play a Thran Dynamo. Uh, um, I mean, that which... adds more mana than the Nyctos at the moment. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> add, <laughs> add three, tap the Thran Dynamo for three, play a Dark Steel Plate. Uh, yeah. oh. uh, which is indestructible, gives the equipped creature indestructible, equips for two though, and pass turn. I suspect you're going to get big enough to go over yeah. the top anyway. You'll be all right, mate. Dog meat. Dog meat will get very swole and basically bound over everyone to.
<laughs> Mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tied into now having to attack the cat? <laughs> <laughs> it's like wait, when wait, a cat's on wait. the battlefield, it's goaded. <laughs> yeah. has to attack that player. <laughs> Plays out Rin and Ferry. <laughs> <laughs> sure i'll block her <laughs> yeah is that like a high five like <laughs> they just go yeah yeah <laughs> like a it's a fist bump or bump i guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> Yeah, you get the you get the um jump people still. Okay. Uh, attack. Uh, draw this forest. Reveal a a Shire Soul of the Wild. Ooh. Wait, that makes everything forests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But only things I can control, not like. In, that's, it doesn't mean like with this oh. I can play the top of my library. It's just like the stuff in the on the on all my non tin creeks I control. And here is me worrying about it with your Avengers <laughs> and the car in hand. Yeah, but that's also like I don't know. That's for later. I think. Uh, hmm. So, folks, think if you're I... watching and you haven't dropped a follow, please drop a follow if you're on Twitch. And if you're on YouTube, hello. Please drop a like Hi, and a subscribe. Play forest gain a life. Tap uh, two, three, four, five, and play a Nissa who shakes the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have all the mana you need. Um... <laughs> so I'm going to plus one, put three counters on this forest, untap it. It's a creature as uh -huh. well. I'm going to uh, tap for six. To play Mot play Motani. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, count the dice on this as well. So it's just six counters on here. Uh, so then I uh, want to tap this for two. I'm then gonna um, tap the Mosswap Bridge. Let's, wait, let me just double, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is eleven. So I can do the Mosswap Bridge thingy. Mm -hmm. Cast Return of the World Speaker to draw 11 cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. <Thank> you. Yep. <laughs> you, you get to see them all as well because they're top card of library. Yeah. So uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I'm drawing the Ashaya, Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth, Forest, Broken Bond, Zendikar, Resurgent, Forest. <laughs> Ramanak Excavator, Splendid Reclamation, Orphanwood Hydra, Hydra Forest, and In Greater Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Greater um. Good. And then there's a ghost quarter on top of my, top of my library. Okay. I'm actually going to combat okay. with things, so. <laughs> no, obviously, no, it doesn't. No, reach, reach and trample. Yeah. Uh... I'm going to go to end step and discard. So, uh... Hey, Death. <laughs> yes, we are in danger. That was a turn. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this deck does not move that quickly. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's the point. I'm up against three ramp decks, three green decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate accurate language. We are Magic <laughs> Gathering players. <coughs> Hmm. Uh, I've got too many things I want to keep. I don't think I need that. Uh, I don't think I need that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more card. I should play morphs. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, so I'm going to discard the uh, Zendikar Resurgent, the uh, Wayward, Wayward Sawtooth, Greater Good, uh, Black Blade Reforged, Yavimaya, and Three Forests. Okay. Curious. Because Black Blade, Black Blade would be... Oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also I've got things in my hand I want to keep. So yeah, that's a uh, I, Hey, I saw <laughs> half of them. They're all great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Untap. Let us draw a magic card. Okay. We will... Alas. Just past her. Okay. <clears throat> Untap. Draw. Interesting, interesting. Um, <clears throat> Which only give me two. I mean, if you're going, we're going to do a wish list of things to happen in death, and yeah, that's a pretty good start. Uh, yeah. My hope is just Amy's tired from that really big turn and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Motani currently is one, two, six, seven, eight. Huge. Okay, I probably need. Mm. I'm hoping these white decks are finding some uh, removal. Uh, not quite yet. <laughs> um... <laughs> what summoning sickness? <laughs> uh... To be honest, it's, it's, it's usually what happens with this deck. To be honest, <laughs> it just gets. Okay, let's. True. Yeah, let's tr let's try this then. Okay, <clears throat> uh, three, four, five, six uh, for caged sun. Nice. Uh, choose a color. I will choose white creatures I control that are white get plus one plus one. And whenever a land's ability adds one or more mana of the chosen color to my mana pool, add one additional color of that type. Okay, so I'll generate two white but equip the dark steel plate to Kemba. Love it. So Kemba is now a 3-5 indestructible. Uh, and I will pass the turn. I don't want to know what you're doing with your junk, really. <laughs> I desperate, desperately tried not to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Filtering? <laughs> De deck thinning. <laughs> Absolutely what you want to be doing in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Is 
Is Luke coming through on stream? Because I'm saying it's not. He's just very quiet. Very quiet. Yeah, it's the microphone issues uh, again. Also, hi, Dean, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, hi, <hiya>, Dean. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, mate. Sorry you're not here. Missing you. You have a trigger from Armory Paladin. Correct the window. Oh. Hmm. Which is good because at least it's until the end of next turn. <laughs> Okay. I would uh, never be, I would put in a corner to feel so cowardice. Such <laughs> cowardice. Right, I just realized Luke's life total was wrong. You should have 42, not so 40. Draw, draw the ghost call to reveal the top. It's a forest. I'll play the forest, gain a life. Nice crisp 50. Uh, it's another forest. <laughs> You're almost uh, at the point where you have more forests than I do total permanents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, one. Oh, I've got double, double mana, haven't I? So two. Splendid Reclamation. Mm -hmm. Splendid. One, two, three, four. Uh, what does it do? Uh, returns all land cards to the, to the battlefield from my, from my graveyard tapped. I think at this point I would like to respond. Yeah. It's this, it's this. I'll lose one for green. And I'm going to cast a Mystic Snake. Ah. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, count it. Uh, so that's. Oh, Snake's already oh, in the book. Two. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> it's just straight up counted, isn't it? Uh, it yeah, counter spell. I, I yeah. wanted it to be Avenger, but really, I can't let you have. All of that. Uh, so I will go tap another four and play a conduit of worlds. <laughs> well, at least it's limited by the number of land plays, so uh, and then let's play a riveter's uh, overlook from the graveyard. No, no, sorry, I play my land to turn, aren't I? I played land to turn. Play I can't play, a, I can't play a land. Don't uh, you get a second land with? Corsa, or no, it's just play with play the top, and I can play. Oh, you can play, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so I can play that's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, Seven. you're you're supposed to kill one of the Shatter Gang when you play Death. There's no point worrying one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think uh, what I should have announced uh, is that it does get a counter because of Master Chef. Yeah. Like putting the literal snake in Snake Charm. <laughs> four, four, mm. five. Uh, which will you... trigger Wildwood Scourge, and Scourge will get another counter. Yeah. I'm going to play six, and I'm going to. Do you want to guess that one, actually? No, I'm going to play a Orban World Hydra. Mm -hmm. It's a XX equal to the lands I control. It sure is. Uh, and I get to search for a land when it comes in. So I'm going to go get Fabled Passage. If I can find the damn thing. Fabled Passage. On the battlefield tapped. Uh, that gets me another life. Chat, we're in danger. We were in yeah. danger. <laughs> we were in danger this time last turn. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I, well, I'm interested in doing this as well. If you think about Nissa, put two on, on target, non creature land, untap it, 
yeah, so I'm going to do plus one Nissa, uh, do this land. Hmm. I actually think about what you've got on your boards now to, to mm -hmm. actually we need to go to combat. So uh, also it turns out why chat can't hear Luke is because I muted him earlier. <laughs> so there's a chance no one heard Sean that entire last game. Oh no. No, 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 we, 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 no, we heard Sean. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, it, have, it was it was when yeah it was when everybody was away from microphones that's what it was sorry chat that's okay uh okay, look if do you want to just announce all the plays you've made this game and we'll catch you <laughs> the game log is on spell table it's... <laughs> I'm... we'll we'll post we'll do the post production for you too so i'm gonna <laughs> play a broken bond uh destroy target artifact or enchantment and i can put a land from my hand on the battlefield so I'm going to destroy the basilisk, Collar. My basilisk, Collar? Why would you do that? Death touch lifelink. <laughs> yeah, it's also the only good artifact that's targetable. The mine's mine's right. hexproof, and Chronos is uh, indestructible. No, I've got the Cage Sun or the Thrandon. Oh, the Cage Sun's a great Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but that oh. would really put me back. C Cage Sun doesn't kill Motani. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, so we'll go to the bin. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put a ghost quarter into play and gain a life. Uh, no one's really got big enough creatures to get to me to swing back at me, but it's like maybe I think you're good. Yeah, it's just I've got a big creature here, but how big is my tiny again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <laughs> so not quite lethal yet. Uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'll am i go to combat and I will swing uh, Motani at uh, Baz then, I think. I don't think there's much point sponging, so I will take 19. Oof. Okay. Uh, and then I shall pass the turn. So I put me on twenty. <coughs> well, damn. My turn. On top. Draw. You are not going to do it. Well, we've got two nineteen nineteen because you're playing this. This is this is what that's Dean plays the other day. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a that's a ten, ten. Eleven, eleven, eleven sorry. Okay. Because uh, yeah, oh, the, the Hydra old. doesn't see graveyard. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm in my main oh. phase. I'm going to tap uh, Volo and two to draw three. That is not. I just it. Mental, the Ancients is going to get that thing back actually this turn, isn't it? I, don't know, I, forgot, I forgot about the Mantle Ancients. <laughs> uh. Uh, cast a Memnite for zero. Enters with a plus one. Oh, yeah, that's a good card. Uh, I will go to. I oh, actually, it's a construct. God damn it. <laughs> Still want to do it anyway. And then. You could you could start paying me by turning the internet off. <laughs> <laughs> go, go and go and the right. <laughs> wow. even, even just a wee sugar, a wee sugar, a wee sugar would be helpful. Is, is that like the cryptic <laughs> redeem to the the redeem to get cryptic to go around to somebody's place? Yeah. I mean, he was offering to, to wake people up for four ninety nine yesterday, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the services the, uh, the office. <laughs> Do not answer that in Twitch chat. <laughs> not answer that in Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to lose one to tap my uh, Paintland, my water waterlogged grove for a Sakura Tribellator. 
Steve, who's a snake, but he's also a shaman. So the book will get a fourth. Oh, of course, uh, it was, I forgot about Corso Crucifix. Uh, it's a food really uh, So that's a counter for Steve. So sorry, this was Scourge should have now four counters on it. Still not big enough to block a Moldani. And we actually, I actually really do need to, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to sack Steve, go get a land to put onto the battlefield. Oh, it comes in tap, doesn't it? So it doesn't yeah. matter. I'll do it before I die. <laughs> Yeah, pass turn. Okay. Uh, untap. Uh, beginning my upkeep, Kemba has uh, a piece of equipment on her, so I get a character. Uh, okay. Where is it? Here we are. The fetching one with the bowler hat. Um, draw. <laughs> That's not going to help me. Um, so. But it is probably about the only thing I can play. Um. <clears throat> So we'll pay two for Leonin Sun Standard, uh, uh, which is I can pay a white uh, one and a white to give creatures I control plus one plus one until end of turn, and I will pass turn. I will untap. 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 Let's draw. Let's see what we get. Ooh, the line looks kind of cool. Play junk turn as a land, and there isn't many better options than casting. Uh, Mantle of the Ancients, to be honest, I don't think it. I will cast Mantle of the Ancients. When it enters, return it. your artifacts into uh, auras, equipment to the battlefield. I only have one in my graveyard, so we'll do that. And I will equip it to Dog Me. Mantle of the, along with Mantle of the Ancients, which states target creature gets plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it. So I've cast an enchantment from Exile, so I'll draw a card. And whenever you cast an aura, I get to Exile top card in my library as well. Which is open the vaults. Oh, nice. Uh, Aha. <laughs> in case you want to try that again, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that one, is that one everybody though, or is that the one that's just you? That's everybody. So Everybody gets like, all the artifacts. Yeah, it's in uh, it's in the science deck, but I thought it'd be quite good for this one. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely is a good one for that. And oh, he needs still just two scourge. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, that's you got death touch now, though. I do have death touch, but I don't have vigilance. I don't think. No, no vigilance. So we'll just we'll just get that one. We'll just get that one. And we'll pass. What do I want to do with this thing? I'm not sure. It's my turn, yeah? Yeah, it is indeed, Amy. Uh, do I want to... I'm, I'm happy to come second if you want to kill Barry and Grover. <laughs> <laughs> I, have you just replaced Dean? Like, what's, what's, what's going no. on? You're already fighting for second. He would appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I think what, what do I want to... Um... So I'm going to... I'm going to ghost quarter uh, this forest. Mm -hmm. 
which seems weird, but then I could get another land and put it into the play. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, Voltani cares about the graveyard, so yeah, no, it, it, it seems weird, but it's just that it actually works. <laughs> I mean, you've got conduit of worlds anyway, so yeah. So then I'm gonna uh, top of Lemmy's Noxious Revival. Oh, nice. Hmm. Those right, okay. Draw for turn, reveal top. It is screen slime. Oh, I like that one. That's the flash remove ab triggered oh, ability. I should, I should have, um, just please, no more foretell cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do Fable Passage, uh, go get a, a basic. Forest, which comes in the play tapped, but then it's untapped because of I've got more than four. Let's see what's on top this time. There. Now it is a search for tomorrow. Don't really want that, so I'll play a fabled passage as my land for turn and then sack it and go get a forest. I'll gain another two life. Not, no, Four life, isn't it? It's a lot of life because of the uh, double lands. There's three because I, I didn't, didn't play one for turn. It's just yeah, three. Yeah, the Hydra has reach. You can't even get through to try and get Nisa. <laughs> yeah, Forest win that ultimate. Yeah, avoiding regrowth. That's fine. I'll leave that there. Uh, I haven't played. A, I haven't actually played a, played anything yet this turn as well. I've so placed it from my graveyard. So I'm going to uh, tap this to choose a non land card from my graveyard, and I hope I can play it this turn. I'm going to choose. Oh, which one do I want? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do. Uh, Zendikar Resurgent. <laughs> my target. Cool. Oh no. Two, four, six, seven. Play this. Now my lands tap for three. Mm -hmm. Well, my forest tap for three. My normal lands don't. They tap for two. Uh, and then I will tap this forest for three. Play a Raman map excavator. Graveyard, graveyard, love it. Uh, yeah. Cast <clears throat> draw, cast a spell, draw a card. So I'll draw this <coughs> voiding, voiding regrowth. Mm -hmm. Reveal a Sea of Sundial. Uh, plus one Nissa. Untap this forest. Uh, put three counters on it. Uh, tap this forest for three. Is definitely out of the way. Uh, play the Roiling Regrowth. I will sacrifice the Moss Warp Bridge. Uh, search for two basics. Put them in play tapped. <coughs> so then that gains me another two life. Spicy. Just wanted to try and get Multani as big as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. It does. Actually, no, sorry, I could not play that Rolling Regrowth. I will have to undo that. I played something from with the Crucible of Worlds. Oh, the right. World. Okay. Yeah. I'll un undo that. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, I'll have to. I'll but have to Rolling out. Regrowth <laughs> is in hand, and I'll just leave my lobby shuffled. Oh. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Oh, we can't tolerate misplays like that. On these. I, I caught that just before I finished resolving it, so it's fine. <laughs> this is back on I the mean, battlefield. You, you can do that in Barry, uh, in like the next. It's, it's instantly, yeah. yeah. So I can I can do it the next um, the next turn, but I can't do that now. Uh, so three, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. So Mortani's a twenty-two, twenty-two, I think. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two, twenty-two. 
So I'm going to go to combat. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to actually swing at Luke. I thought you might. 22-22 with Trample. Hmm. My guy's currently at 8. So I'll gain eight life. But I'll still lose fourteen. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. I will uh, block the dog meat. And this, thing, this dies. Dog meat will die. Put this in the graveyard. This will go to the graveyard. Uh... And you take 14 commander, wasn't it? I do. Yeah. Uh, I'm then going to tap this for three. Actually, no, I can just do it's two, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to tap the Rogue's Passage for two. Uh, I'm going to return these two lands to my hand yeah. uh, and return more tiny from my graveyard to my hand. And mm -hmm. I haven't actually played land for turn yet, so I'll play this forest nice. and gain life. <laughs> And then uh, replay Multani. Can't can't cast another spell. So. Oh yes, of course, because yeah, yeah, I could I could if I had yeah. if I was allowed to play things, but I'd, I'd rather not leave him in the graveyard just in case. <laughs> so, uh, just Amy's life total. I had missed the start of her turn when there was loops of Fable Passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm on fifty-eight. That's fine. Uh, yes. That is my turn, and I shall then uh, pass. Uh, I will then, in your upkeep, Baz, I will then do the volume regrowth. Thought you might. Just because I can, and we'll get it out of the way because I can do it <laughs> while you're doing stuff. I appreciate I'll you. Gain the, I'll gain another few life. 60. Uh, I will draw for turn. <clears throat> Which life total for Luke is right? <laughs> uh, the one on stream, because yeah. Luke right. has not gone down 14. I went down 14, but I gained 8 life from Don Gavin Life Bank. Top of my life is crop rotation. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So were you on an odd number to start with? I think so, yeah. I was like on 14. You were on 43, I think. Okay, 37. You're right. I apologize. I thought it was uh, 14. I thought it was 14 total, not uh, 14 I minus. I don't, I don't think it really matters to be honest. <laughs> thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It does, it does matter. Uh, and there's a rogue passage there as well. So I, I, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, but what's happened is it means that Chrono is getting rogues passaged. <laughs> because it's his turn. <laughs> uh, oh, did you pass Baz? Uh, no, God, no. 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 He's, he's coming on the fact that I've attacked Baz and then Luke, so he yeah. thinks he's coming at you next. Uh, Baz, send, send the team. <laughs> I mean, I probably should, since none of them can really do much against. It did stop me, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I knew what I meant to do. I meant to sack. I was, oh, god damn it! I was like, why am I one mana short? Because I didn't sack. Steve. Mm, do you want to just retroactively do that? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, you, you just, said, you're going to do it anyway. So, yeah. You would, yeah. Like you said, you were going to do it in your, like, yeah, <laughs> in your turn. So, yeah, we'll get our forest. Thank you. It's not going to matter, but it might. Who knows? <laughs> By the the phases have passed there. I'm, I'm very against that. Um, <laughs> no, no, we're friendly casual magic. Yeah. If Chrono had his way, I'd have passed my turn before it even knows him. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono just needs one more character to cast that farewell for free. Oh, and I want to give it to him so hard. Hey. Oh, I wish. At this point, I really wish. <laughs> Right. Uh, so we can do a couple of things, I suppose. Do we want to... Are we still going to be in the game next turn? I don't know. I'm just don't... not going to play any spells, so Amy's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <listen>, nothing. <laughs> I guess it's, we're, we're at the point where it's live every turn as if it were your last. <laughs> yeah. 
I so I'm gonna tap two, tap four low to draw four. Mm -hmm. Remember, Motani's in my hand and doesn't have haste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. I just big though, right? Yeah. Hydra. Hydra. <coughs> um, what number is Nisa on? Actually, in risk. Mm. I believe Nisa is on eight. Uh, she's, she's ripe to be ultimated. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to tap one for blue before I do Volo. I'm going to cast a Spectral Sailor on main phase. Pirate. Or Spirit, perhaps. Let's say Spirit. And then we'll do the two. Uh, tap Volo. Draw five this time. One, two, three, four, and five. You're about to draw that Storm Tamer and be like, no, I should have said... <laughs> Said spirit, not pirate. Oh, that'd have been so good, right? That would have been so good. I but what we'll do is we'll play this Karn's Bastion as land for turn. And we will tap for two. Actually, wait a minute. Tap for two for a uh, Phyrexian Revoker. Uh, Phyrexian Revoker enters the battlefield. It will name Nissa who shakes the world. What does it do? Uh, 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 activate the abilities of yeah. sources with the chosen name can be activated. Really, I should name Rogue's Passage, but I'm not ashamed about it. Well, by not naming it, uh, do you expect it not to come towards you now? Oh no, I'm I'm dead, but you know, I might not be. I should also have been getting <laughs> counters on these bad boys. Okay, so Nissa Static will still be will still be active, yeah. but uh, Yes, we'll but we can't yep. tick up anymore. Uh two creatures, two counters, so this will go to six. Can't tick down is probably the more <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's all bad. It's all bad. Yeah, because I've got the double mana from Zendikar for season twelve with extra mana. I can only this deck does not do solve multiple problems. No. It solves yeah, that's one problem. right. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have one mana open that hurts me. Fantastic. Finds ravages of war for this deck. Uh, the Hydra has reach, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hydra has reach. Yeah. And it is currently. It's okay. You don't need to count. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't embarrass me like that. Don't embarrass me like that. <laughs> It's bigger uh, than your Hydra. Is all right, all right, all right. No, okay. I, I think it's what you were trying to... If it's your Hydra faster. I, I'd, I'd rather make sure people know what the board state is. So it's fine. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I, pre I appreciate the accuracy, truly. truly. Okay, creatures up front, minus a Volu up in the back. That's how we like it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand, would you believe? Uh, I think the time is gone for you. I think the time is gone for you. So move to end step, move to cleanup. Uh, put Danny Pink, who I've literally put in mm -hmm. today, and uh, Volo Gaitan Monsters into the bin. Danny Pink? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's a counter doubler. Counter doubler, yeah. Yeah. From what's that? Uh, Doctor, uh, Doctor Who. Who. Oh, of course it is. It's uh, from Paradox <laughs> Power Deck. Oh, okay. <clears throat> And that's pass and that pass? will be no pass and turn, yes. Okay, untap, upkeep, get another cat. To... And draw. Okay, well, that's yeah. more mana, so we'll play a planes. And then. Um... That would be mean, uh, and it's probably pointless. Um, so you know, I'm what, done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. It I, it wouldn't hurt Amy. I think is the uh, the is the main thing. So um, 
Uh, I think I'm just going to get more toughness onto the board. Uh, I will tap for four, uh, for four to play Leonin Abuna's, uh, uh, which is a 2-5 Cat Cleric. Uh, all my artifacts have Hexproof. Uh, nice. Very good. That is some really rock and roll artwork as well. Like, I love the contrast. <laughs> Kind of like, yeah, the original Mirrodin art, is, like Mirrodin block art, is definitely something, um, color-wise. Uh, so yeah, past turn, because there is no way I am attacking. <laughs> Chrono. <laughs> what, what, what have I got to attack into? Uh, Insert Spider-Man meme. Yeah. Scary <laughs> cats. Uh. My cats are not big. <laughs> The, the right. best I have is a, is an indestructible cat cleric right now. Is dog meat the deck that has the land destruction spell? No, they didn't. They didn't put that in the actual deck. That was just in the in the the, 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 the special the, treatment, wasn't it? The, the, the I thought it was in the collector boosters. I don't think they actually yeah, put land destruction in. Ravages of War, wasn't it? This like got yeah. the, the yeah, like yeah. the special artwork for the what's it that Fallout one? So I'm oh, going to play vault, vault, vault boy artwork, isn't it? Yeah, so... gotcha. I'm going to play open the vaults because I have to. So everyone, damn puts... it. Yes, you discarded incorrectly, Barry. So uh, I did, put for that, no, I didn't. But Black Blade Reforged and Greater Good. Oh, I have nothing in my graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> like, look, it's not perfect. I can't help that. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> See, artifact creature, one of the for equipment. No, uh, soul ring. Well rested. I will enchant. Oh, this this strike. Are they going to murder? I don't think. Uh, keep it to the armory paladin. Trigger. It's an enchantment. Am I casting them on return? You're not casting it. So I'm not casting it. So no value from that. And. Rosie, it's got a first um, uh, the auras need a target. The the artifacts don't get free equipped. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, dog meat also shouldn't be in your graveyard anyway. Dog meat isn't it? Uh, not uh, the basilisk collar. Why? Because uh, the creature was killed, not the ar ar not artifacts yeah. attached to it. Yeah. Auras oh. fall off. Equipment stay on the battlefield. Righty-ho, and I will, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not really else I can do. So in your end step, I'm going to tap the strip mine for colorless and the green from Zendikar's resurgence and cast Noxus Revival. Putting what broken flex. bond. Not even broken, using life. <laughs> broken bond back on top of my library. <laughs> Love it. What's broken bond again? Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, okay. And like I put a land. So I'll, I'll draw that for turn and then crop rotation is still on top of my library. Sorry, it's likely it going at a Phyrexian Revoker, not your Bastard Collar, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh... I do worry. <laughs> the trees are coming for us all. <laughs> so everything has three at the moment. So three, six, nine. So I'll have two. 
I'm still in the pool. Let's get a dice just in case. I think we're probably going to need it. So, so I have two in the mana pool still. I'm going to cast Avenger for Centicar. Mm-hmm. Cast, I get to draw a card. So I draw the crop, crop rotation. There's a Giripa's Orrery on top of my library. And I create uh, zero one plant creature token for each land I control, which is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Who has an answer to this? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly just sad about getting the free greater good to sacrifice all the tokens to. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, my library's not that big anymore, and I don't think it's worth me actually. That, that's why I discarded it earlier. It was like it's not Fair. as useful anymore. So, uh, the Black Blade Reforged as well, like it's it's better early game. Now it's like win more. So I just don't really use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm also not going to answer the question of who's going <laughs> to answer for this before combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. There is that. Uh, I'm going to then um, use that two floating actually uh, to broken bond the correction thingy that was stopping Nissa. You got it. So it destroys that. I can put a land from my hand into play. So I'll put this forest into play. That puts a counter on here for all of these plants. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, minus eight Nissa. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, before I do that, actually, I'm going to tap. <laughs> do, I, do I need to? Six. I need six. Eleven mana. One, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. There's twelve in my pool. Just gonna do that before the. Uh, yeah. Lands go and the and the, the extra mana goes. So yeah, minus eight Nissa, she goes. I get all my lands onto the battlefield tapped, all my forests. Uh, so there's not many not many left, I don't think, but we'll see. I mean, it's not <laughs> often the the minus eight Nissa. So. One, two, three, four. I mean, oh it's, not, yeah. it's not it's not it's not necessarily basic forest. So if you have any non basic forests in there. <laughs> I think there's probably only one you can Gingerbread run. cabin or something like that? Yeah, I think it's a pretty straightforward mana base in this, to be honest. It's just like mostly forests and yeah. then all the utility. Cheap, like yeah. um, riveted outlooks, things like that. The... Yeah. The uh, strip mine was actually one I added in very recently. So. Uh, right, so this goes back here. Uh, still playing with the top revealed. It's a journey to discovery, which is probably useless now. Uh, and one, two, three, was... four, five lands. So I gain five life. So that would be six lands for the turn so far. Yep, so 66, that one. Uh, and I've got 12 mana in my mana pool. I will play more tiny for six. Uh, play a Shire for. F oh, draw a card, sorry. From the Zendikar Resurgent, play a Shire for five, draw a card. It's a Snakeskin Veil. I would like to respond with a Shire on the stack. Yeah, so you would, you would, have, seen, you would have known that that was there. So Yeah. Uh, the which the, the card draw trigger, I guess, on the stack, yeah? Yeah. Or, no, with, with a Shire on the stack. Well, it's, it's, it's her and, and the card draw on top, isn't it? Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because Ashaya stops exactly the card that's in my hand. Uh, so I hurt myself for a green. I, I'm sorry, a blue, rather. Can you remind me, Amy, which of any of your creatures got trample just now? Uh, just um, Motani has trample. The rest are all generic. It's just reach, reach here and reach trample here. No worries. Uh, I will. Oh, it's not great. It's not great. 
it's not great. Uh, if I could take something off Amy's board, what would uh, folk prefer? My my thoughts were well, to do the Hydra, Multani, or the Zendikar Resurgent. I mean, so much good stuff. They're yeah. all bad. I mean, the Zendikar Resurgent is now what's giving her double mana, but yeah, it's a bit late um, for that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but by everything Amy did. She could have tapped all her mana in response to anyway. So yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and with the number of regrowth effects that we're seeing, I'm not yeah. entirely sure that anything that goes to the graveyard is staying there. Really, <laughs> I do have a conduit of worlds on the battlefield. Yeah, so yeah. The next next turn, I could get something back from the yeah the yeah graveyard anyway as well. Um, <laughs> I guess it would be the Hydra because it's got reach in the eventuality that any of us have flyers. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, the Hydra is a problem, but I mean, alternatively, like well, the, back the, into hand, but or yeah. Avenger because it. But yeah. if if it's back into hand, then no. But no, it's uh, it's a it's a bounce spell. Oh, okay, right. Um, but the only reason I'm doing it right now is because uh, Ashaya turns everything into yeah. lands. Oh, and yeah. you can't bounce lands. The, um, well, the they're, they're lands in addition to the other types. So yeah. They're still, they're still this, this card specifically it says non land. Non land yeah. permanent, I guess. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because, uh, yeah, because because Multani would be great, but with the, I, the, the double mana, I think it's, there's just no point. Yeah. Well, obviously, Multani gives. Problem is that, yeah. I mean, Multani has trample. Has it got some insignificance? It casts this turn. It or? does, yeah. Yeah, it's cast this turn. So. Okay. Yeah. The only reason I'm doing it right now is because of the creature that's coming down that turns out. Oh, yeah. Out. But I, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just thinking rather. that like anything that goes back to hand just gets played again. I know. It, um, I think, I think we're all just dead. So. Um, even, even me, Black Blade, Blade reforged on uh -huh. things with Trample, which is dead to that as well. It's, yeah. I can just draw instant speed as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You win out. I guess. I guess. Put the Zendikar Resurgent back, and then at least it makes a few, um, make makes the mana decisions a little bit hard until yeah. it it's. Yeah. Uh, cast the Void Snare. Put Zendikar Resurgent back into your hand, please. Amy. Uh, void snare return target non land permanent to its owner's hands. Yeah, I'm fine with Zendikar so didn't come back to hand. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I will draw my snake snake can veil then. And then a shy is on the and battlefield. Shaya comes in. All my things are that's my non creature points. Uh, I've got one mana in my pool still, so I'm going to use that one mana. So would that trigger Avenger Zendikar because Ashaya is a land? Yes, that is. A, there's, there's, they've all got seven counters. These plants. There's yeah, fourteen yeah. of them. They've got seven Do, counters. In them. And you gain a life it, as well. Does it trigger? A, so it's it's just an ability that's on it. So it's as soon as it's on True. the battlefield, I think. It's... Yeah, but it doesn't enter the battlefield of the land, does it? A, it it does because it says non-token creatures you control are forest lands. Yeah, yeah it's but... just a static ability, isn't it? So I think it does. But we can actually. But the static, it. but the static ability won't apply until she's on the battlefield because her type is not land. Uh... True, but I, my understanding I... would be it was just as soon as the card is on the table, that's. Yeah, so it becomes a land after it has entered the battlefield, not sure. entering the battlefield as a land. I I thought. Uh... I've very rarely played the cards, so yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it feels like it's, it feels like it's an edge case. Uh... This is good. Check out. ETB. Does a shiny trigger landfall? Uh, yes. Uh, check characteristics of the card as it exists. So yeah, it would enter the battlefield, and then the check would happen. So the, and when the check happens. Roll? The, the ability would be there. Yeah, so it took it itself. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. So now I've got the seventh counter then. Uh, 
I'm then going to yeah use that one mana that was left to crop, do crop rotation and sacrifice this forest and go get another land. Uh, I'm going to go get a land that does something. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to get Ghost Town. <coughs> So Ghost Town is uh, zero. Return Ghost Town to its owner's hand. Use the ability only during an, another player's turn. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. That's so neat. It means I can continually get a land back to my hand for my land drop. Yeah. Mm. Especially if you have uh, multiple land drops. Okay, I have you at 68. Uh... From Ashaya, now the Ghost Town. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Ashaya. Yeah, I know Ghost Town. This does nothing now. Uh, these don't tap for more either anymore, do they? So it's only tapping for four. Do I want to actually make anything unblockable? What's people's... Our biggest thing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the Hydra is 18, 18. Mm. And then these can all attack, but these can't attack because they're summoning sick. Uh, I'm going to. I forgot about exact season Rogue's Passage. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether it's worth it yet, though. Ah, you're a, you're a merciful tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just expecting just an just alpha strike basically... next turn. <laughs> yeah, just to clarify as well. Uh, I've got an emblem when I yeah. it automatically. This yeah. so lands, I control it indestructible, and all of my creatures and everything's lands. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of like free attacks, basically. Uh, I'm going to swing the three forests at. Uh, Alternatively, you could tap your creatures for mana. <laughs> Yeah, I could. Uh, I could. Uh, that is, that is, <laughs> to, re to replay that Vendicar's Resurgent, and then you're all set for next turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I need to. I, I probably want to put this actually, this this Blackberry Reforged on though, Definitely. somewhere. But where? Three to a legend, and the only legend I've got is my commander. So I think I just say that's next turn. Uh, I'm going to do the three forests. I'm going to swing those at Chrono since I haven't hit Chrono yet this game. Uh, and I'm going to do the Open World Hydra at. Uh, I do it at Baz because he has to block. And then at least then might, might take some of the creatures off board. They're only three threes, are they? They are three threes with indestructible. Sure. Okay. 18, well, 18 indestructible. I will block two of them on my things which have more than three toughness. So... Um, mm -hmm. And let one through. Uh, okay. And the hydras are uh, no, no, it's 18... so much more because oh, it's, of it's, all the creatures. More now, so yeah. There's 18 lands, uh, but then 19, oh, 19. That's cool. I don't have. I don't think I have 18 toughness to like do anything. It's not trample, so as well. It's not trample. Uh, we will. We'll block with the Phyrexian Walker. Yeah. And then that is my turn. I shall pass. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect to still be here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, I think it's next. If turn, I maybe. get another turn, my next turn, I think I can just kill all three of you at the same time. So it, let's do it. Yeah, it's mm. on tap. Draw magic card. Oh, you're untapped. Woohoo! Oh, you're so late. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, play a forest as land for turn. <laughs> oh, I forgot to reveal the top card of my library as well. It is a CS Sundial. Wait a minute, we've seen that before. <laughs> Do <laughs> did the lands have vigilance? Yeah, these have got these ones have vigilance. Uh, Nessa, when Nessa turns them into uh, yeah, gives them creatures. vigilance and haste ah yes <clears throat> but of course I wonder can I talk Amy into giving me one more turn hmm. 
I don't think so. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'll tap for one green, and we will cast this skip mob that's been in my hand for ages, hey. but I've <laughs> I've been needing to wait and not cast it because I'm actually not for being a simic deck. I am not drawing many cards. <laughs> Uh, we will get our seventh creature type, which will be insect. And we'll enter with a plus one, plus one. The Hydra will see it coming in, so it will get an additional plus one, plus one. I guess we will go one, two, three, uh, green. Uh, and as an additional cost, uh, sacrifice this Opal Palace. Go get two basic lands and put them into play with Haro. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get a forest and an island. So I have made my land drop. I have got more lands. They don't come in tapped. How lovely. And I think... I think we just have to... Oh, there is currently one Reacher that is indestructible. Sorry, 2-2 two -two Mem Knight. Just, uh, sorry. Where are you? Spectral Sailor. Just can't get in. <laughs> I always get caught off by off guard by Mem Knight because it looks like it has wings but it doesn't. Is there <laughs> oh does then because the Hydra is tapped? Uh, M Multani has reached. Multani has reached, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Multani's reached. I think realistically we will not be attacking and uh, we'll just pass the turn. Cool. In your end step, uh, I'll tap four and play out an arms collect, flashing an arms collector. And oh, you got one. Like, you do, if people draw one minute, wait, wait, wait. wait. If an op if an opponent would draw two or more cards, uh, instead you and that player each draw a card. Uh. Okay, I'm going to respond to that one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, cool, no, you're killing me. <laughs> but that uh, makes sense. I'm going to activate Greater Good uh, and sacrifice a plant and draw seven cards. I, I'm going to active respond to the activation. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go two. I'm going to tap Volo to activate. <laughs> the journal and draw seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so big draw seven. You get to see my seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so I've got Security Baba, Naya, Panorama, Gaia's Touch, Begonian, Cross and Grip, Eodora, and Sea of Sundial. Uh, I did not get what I need, so. I think I'm going to. Sack another one and draw seven. So, uh, Gears Ori, Nissa, Ascended Animist, Once Upon a Time, Search for Tomorrow, Nissa's Triumph, The Mending of Dominaria, six, seven is Beast Within. I shall keep that. Let's stop there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is in my end step, so I have to go clean yeah. up now. Okay. Uh, so, yes, Arms Collector uh, goes into play. Untap, upkeep, get another cat. Digital top, uh, top stride of Elysian Grove. Mm -hmm. Draw. Okay. Well, that's not useful right now hmm? uh, because my creatures are too big. Um, it's kind of how I feel. In fact, I'm going to change one of those discards. Oh my! How are we doing, chat? We still we still plugged in. Yeah. Two, four. Uh, that still only leaves me four. All right. Well. Um, yeah. That would 
give me three left over. Which oh, is not and it's good. another game look where your blasphemous act just isn't going to do it. <laughs> no, it is not. It is one of the six cards you added a board wipe? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Is it farewell? No. Ah. <laughs> Oh well. I, uh, do I try and do that? Screw it. Let's 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 be optimistic, uh, shall we? <laughs> yeah, be it be an optimistic prime, not a negatron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Uh, I am going to. No one has anything good, but you know what, Amy. There are three two two there are three 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 cats coming at you. Well, How much mana can you generate at the moment? At the moment I can generate two, four, six, eight, eleven. So I could pump them by five. So it'd be it'd be three eight eights going, isn't it? Yeah. Uh I'll block with the three forests. Sure, three cats die. <clears throat> uh, second main phase, I'll pay one and let it think uh, so I can cast the mm, yeah, the because I have to tap this as well. Yeah, wind brisk heights, uh, uh, to cast anointed procession for free. Yeah. Heck yeah. Nice. Uh, Drew took up. It, it is very tense. We're looking down the, <laughs> the barrel of a very loaded forest gun. Well, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cryptic, who are you saying to ban? If you're saying ban me on the basis of anointed procession, in the face of this, sir, I oh, don't know. Banning Barry for saying Negatron. Oh right. Nah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's because he's like... a Negatron. He doesn't like Transformers. You can't trust them. Uh, okay. In which case, I will then pass the turn. So, in your, so if I'm going to tap these two and play once upon a time, look at the top five. Two, three, four, five. In the format, ban it. Uh, I can reveal a creature or a land card and put it into my hand. I will. I'm going to reveal green slime and put it in my hand. <laughs> and then just, oh, that's so just sad. Chrono ruined bottom. any card draw and hope I had. The top is Azusa. Thanks, Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to draw to get out of this, and you're like, no, I want to draw too. And I'm like, oh. I, I mean, it's, it's I mean, necessary. I mean, I did it in Baz's end step so that he at least had the chance to um, to use Volo uh, if he wanted to. I and because realistically, have to stop Amy being able to draw so many through. Um, well, I think if Amy draws another through. single card for the next. <laughs> 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 uh, well, it's also another blocker for Chrono. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, I'll go green white. The harvest hand. Nice. I'll trigger enchantment's presence. So how does that work? Because I'm drawing my second card, but I'm not drawing two or more cards at this instant. Uh, it's a replacement effect. So what it basically says is, you would draw seven, you would just draw one. So Chrono draws one, and you draw one. Is my understanding? Because you draw two or more cards. But is that the whole turn, or is that like just in general with that an isolated? Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, matter your second. It doesn't it's instant it doesn't matter if it's instances of one, so your second draw doesn't matter. It would matter if you were drawing seven, you would only draw okay. one. Yeah, so I will draw from okay. Yeah, if you would draw two or more. I will not. So yeah, if I play another aura enchantment now, because of enchantment's presence and Sipis, we would each draw one card, yeah. Yes, that's uh, right. Uh, the oh, actually, no, separate. because no. there's it's only, yeah. yeah, it's only if you draw two 
if and you're drawing two so cards or more. It affects me and Amy right now because yeah. Amy sacrificed a seven toughness creature to draw seven cards in one instance, whereas you would be drawing two cards two of two instances of one. Yeah. Yeah, it's seven, oh, seven right, cards. yeah, it's because they're so two it, separate it, triggers. So yeah, it's yeah. on different layers in the stack. <laughs> Let me draw. Wait, wait, wait. I'll get the pancakes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that video. <laughs> I will go green. Put this to go into that. Four. A. <clears throat> I'll play a behemoth. Behemoth sledgehammer, and that'll trigger Armory Paladin, and then we'll exile. My library, which is Break Den, which reads Destroy target artifact for enchantment, create a junk token. So I'm really, really not sure what, what we can what we can blow up that'll slow Amy down. Conduit of Worlds? Yeah. Mm, okay. I mean, well, that, that guarantees my death, but we could do that. I mean, that, um, that, that, certain that, we're all dead anyway. That, 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 that bed would be the other thing because it's yeah. That locks the that locks the or at least shuts down the graveyard for the moment. Uh, yeah. So what's that? What's that? Uh, I don't think I actually have. Well, actually, I've got that Nissa, I guess. Yeah, because I've got the Nissa is the only thing I can cast in here now. Yeah, you don't. Oh, you and, don't... Uh, and away with sorted. Yeah. Mm. Are we doing anything else with? Oh, let's do that. No, that's fine. Absolutely. Uh, so it is relevant to do it on your turn. Okay. Uh, just in case, because it Conduit Worlds doesn't. Oh no, it's activated. It was only a sorcery, so you could do it. Then. Okay. Apologies. Helps if you read the entire ability. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, he's got, it's got so many words. Uh, I'm going to be zero you. and put the ghost town back in my hand. Yeah, I'm not really doing anything else to be honest. I might as well do it. So I'll tap the Soul Ring for two, and I'll tap my Sun Petal Grove for the green, and I'll cast Break Down, targeting the Conduit of Worlds. Yep. And I will prepare for death. As will we all. So uh, you going to end step? Are you You're passing to? I am. I'm past. I'm. I'm going to tap these three for a Beast Within on the Arms Collector. Uh, yeah, sure. I oh, we knew she had that as well. I'm gonna, yeah, I know, but... <laughs> I'm going to sack another plant and draw seven cards. So we've got a Sousa. What are you drawing to, Amy? What's what's the super fun win con where you're going for here? Five, six. Here we go. Oh, okay. I got Tyler's Tracker, Three Visits, Exploration, Scoop Swarm, Venture Forth, and Ram Through. So... Uh, ram through is a one shot because I think it does damage to the controller as well. Yeah, so basically ram through it means I can hit somebody for a lot without doing a combat. So now I go to my turn. I'm gonna untap. Uh, I draw this Garrus. It's a travel ticket, but named differently. Hmm. Lightwood would land on top of my library. So. Multani is currently a 48-48. Not it. <laughs> well, I've already got 17 on me, so it'd be a waste to send it at me. It has trampled. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it has trampled. It doesn't really really matter. But also, uh, it, it is... Saying. What's the... you got the 3-3. Three, three. Can you... Okay, can you just the speed uh, I'm going to go ram through uh, targeting Multani and the 3-3 three, three beast. How big did you say Multani is? 48, 48. So that would be 45 excess damage. Yeah. Uh, I would like to respond. Oops. Hurt myself for a blue. Go to <clears throat> 17. Cast the counter spell. <laughs> make, make, the, make, oh, the attack, yeah. make the attacks as awkward as possible. Oh, Can thank I, you, Baz. I, I love you, Chrono. <laughs> I'm still getting slapped in the face by an Multani. I'm on 19 commander, so a Multani just has to sneeze on me. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, that, that happens. That counters that. Uh, okay. 
So I have some land drops. <laughs> so more lands out on the battlefield to get some more strength on these. So I'm going to go Naya Panorama. I can't get any lands out from that, so that's fine. I just gain one of all my forces out already. But then this gets another counter here, so the 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, I need more land drops as well, don't I? Don't be jelly, uh, Chrono. <laughs> Hi, uh, Dean. <laughs> we're, we're about to be dead. We're about to be very <laughs> dead. We should be dead. Oh, I didn't. I only need one more, one more land, actually. So. Uh, I've drawn that. I drew these suits. Breakdown was the first piece of removal I've drawn. And I've drawn. <laughs> so to play shares in it because it had passed yeah, already. Yeah, I was, I was, I was hoping to draw a single. I can play additional land on each of my turns. <laughs> yep. I'll play Ghost Town. Uh, Ghost Town. That makes me sad because now your life total isn't sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would have been it would have been the Chad move to finish. On and that's a, a nine here. I haven't done combat math yet. I could probably already kill people, but <laughs> combat math. Ah, uh, you definitely. It's like I got this is forty-eight. That's fifty now, Motani. But you got plenty of blockers, people. So <laughs> can I make anything else in like unblockable? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, you've got you've got rogues passage, right? So you can send the high. Yeah. Zone Larry. So five mana. Why? Why? Four. Four. If you play the Azusa. Yeah, that's what I mean. You. You could. Activate Rogue's Passage. Kill me or Groner. And then, oh no, because I was thinking t Ghost Town can return any land to your hand. It's not. No, it's just, just one know. land. I, I do have a, a creature in the deck which I was hoping for, which lets me untap lands. Um, so, uh, but it untaps itself when you play a land. So you can activate Rogue's Passage on something, play a land, untap Rogue's Passage. But I don't particularly oh, want right. to draw my entire library. Yeah. Uh, yes. Right. Death or glory. <laughs> uh, those don't do anything. Those don't do anything. Those don't do anything. That's search my for a forest. That doesn't help. That's too late. Uh, need to keep those up. That gets red hand. That doesn't do anything now. Also, do oh actually, this probably does it. Actually, that helps a lot more. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana. I'm going to play a Nissa Animist, Ascended Animist. And then I'm going to minus seven Nissa straight away. So in turn, turn creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each forest you control and trample. I think that does it. All of my yes. creatures are forest. So then I'm going to swing Multani at Chrono. Even more Hydra will go up. Luke and Ashaya will go at uh, Baz, and then I'll split the others evenly. But you all got three. You got like a big, big yeah. one that's like <clears throat> the forest I control twice. No, I think I think. Do you have any, Do you right. have any response, Baz? I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, sell I, the wreckage. <laughs> I do. However, I am also conscious of time. Yeah, I mean the next five turns to start. Ten past, isn't it? That's plenty of time. So I can, I, I can basically get rid of Amy's board. Uh, oh. Oh. It's the um, settle the wreckage. Yeah? It's not settle the wreckage. Uh, okay, settle the wreckage would be perfect because there's no basics in your land. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is you've got then? Um, I I will I will leave it to the table, but uh, um, I have been sandbagging seven mana. Um, right. No. No. Okay. Um, Angel of the Dire Hour. 5 4 Flash Flyer. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, exile all attacking creatures. So, hmm. so actually, sorry for the whistle. Jeez. <laughs> Headphone users. However, given that the next pod. Yeah, it is it's basically route. But, uh, yeah, that's basically um, route. Yeah. Given that the next pod is due to start very soon. No. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that we can take out Amy and each other in a quick enough time. Uh, I I can't I can't, but yeah, I, like, I have we been... can like in the like the next turn round we basically all gang up on Amy and take her out. Uh, and I've got a response in my deck as well. 
No, don't call it a draw. We don't play for draws. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm happy either way. Like, I'm not like I don't know if there is like short of a counter spell. I don't know if there is an answer to Angel because I'm not targeting. Uh, mm -hmm. The tracker will not accept exactly. I'm doing yeah. I I would do it. So, okay. will not accept it. So on that basis, I won't. Uh, I won't cast it. I Everybody will, second. <laughs> we 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 will we will let the lands fall where they do, and we <laughs> perish to an onslaught of the woods. So. Well, what what we could say if you want to, I can just uh, um, not tap my strip mine and stop you from doing that before combat by destroying my lands. <laughs> well, <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it was, it's fine. Yeah, Th that yeah. yeah, that's partly what I was afraid of. And yeah, I probably uh, should have thought about that about that really, yeah. but it's fine. But no, well done, Amy. <laughs> yeah, you got it. GG's. Yeah, well played. I think, um, like, had it been, had you attacked like that half an hour ago when you were built, when your board was almost there. Um, I, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to get to the point where I could like swing out for all three at the same time. Yeah, like, that's that's somebody kind of, yeah. But had that been half an hour ago, I would have definitely pulled the trigger on it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I was. I had been sandbagging uh, Holebreaker Horror for a very long time. <laughs> uh, not least of all because I only just got seven mana last turn. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you cast that, I think I might actually take over the game. Yeah, probably. I like. I would be able to start generating tokens fairly quickly, and would hope to swarm on that basis. Oh, the um, the the green slime was being held up in case I needed to for the um for like some of your stuff as well and i had um cruise and grip as well in hand for the oh, um the slime, possession, slime possession the slime well, would do yeah, it wouldn't that stop the triggered ability because it's an etb yeah well the, i think it's a replacement effect on um the night possession isn't it but like the yeah. it was like the, the equipment and the artifacts and the stuff i was like i'll hold up that just in case i need it plus the cruise and grip i, yeah, I well, had three, my, my three ways in my <laughs> my, my <laughs> artifacts weren't targetable because of the abuna so um Unless it was mass um, mass removal. Oh yeah, of course. But, yeah, yeah. No, but the, no, the anointed procession was definitely targetable. Oh, I just would have one. I'd be upside down. <laughs> but nice one, Amy. Well done, Chrono. You kept that super quiet. <sighs> There's that. Like to sneaky, be fair, sneaky, at, sneaky. At, at, at any point that Multani had swung at me, yeah. it was being it was being exiled. Uh, um, <laughs> it was just. Uh, uh, it happened to go at Luke and Baz first. Uh, um... Incorrectly, I might add. Nah. <laughs> I, I thought it was a good pol political move, swinging it at Luke to take a bit of heat off you while you just <laughs> essentially did it with other creatures anyway. <laughs> I, I was actually kind of concerned about the uh, the dog meat potentially getting a bunch more equipment on it. So I was like, if I attack in now, he, he has to block and loses it. And then has to kind of rebuild a little bit. Yeah. So it's just kind of like try and try and slow that down a little bit so I can build up my board state a bit more before yeah. the death touch comes swinging at me. <laughs> I think, I, think uh, I, I mean, it, it's not it's not built in a way to to get dog meat to like one one shot people and spreading it around. But in Blantfall decks, mono green, you just, oh. you just have just so yeah. much value, and then you're getting value from playing lands. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't have enough answers. Line, just couldn't. Couldn't. I mean, I, I had. I, I just drew actually swords of plowshares, and I thought, so, you know, I do that, and you gain like fifty life anyway. So I'm, I'm no better off. <laughs> oh no, you're sorry. It's because you're both made it in the decks that want you're, to put, make your commanders again. huge. Yeah. No, but commander yeah. damage is very viable. Yeah. Well, apart from my deck. Commander damage no, I mean, is viable for all of you. I mean, dog, dog meat can get big if you put everything on it, but it's not. It's not like uh, an Uriel or. Yeah. No, but it's it's it, it, oh, it, no, I guess it, there. Is, it is a Voltron deck. Uh, um... Yeah, I think it can be. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I the games I've won with dog meat, I've had dog meat hitting for like forty. <laughs> yeah, dog meat. Gets <laughs> every every video I've seen of the deck, it's like, <laughs> like it's well, smashing people to bits. We'll, we'll say that the people that play the game i play with because it just gets removed <laughs> but that's why because it's so good yeah <laughs> it's like oh this this wins loads of games i probably stop the it's not like, gonna slash for 40 because we're gonna remove it <laughs> yeah. one of the things about that green slime does get around your um atb artifacts as yes. well because it targets the triggered ability not the yeah, actual yeah 
thing as well, which is quite a handy little one to to have. It's, it's yeah, really like I was, I was a little afraid that you were going to do that any time I tapped for double white because that it because the cage sun is a triggered ability of whenever it is tapped, it adds another. Oh, yeah. So you could have destroyed it that way. Yeah, I didn't think about that one to be honest. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't that scared. Of, I wasn't that scared of the um the cage sun. No, was, but uh... apart from the fact that it was allowing me to generate double white, that's uh. It's but obviously, around. that's not what you were you were paying particularly atten particularly much attention to. So it was like the equipment things, but also then that yeah. enchantment to pump things up because you could activate that. It was like green slime it, get rid of it then. So then at least yeah. It's around. The the annoying thing is I saw Commander's Plate was the only equipment I saw that game. <laughs> I like and the get like the the deck does run three board wipes other than Angel of the Dire Hour. Um, I just didn't see any of them. Uh, yeah, good game though. But yeah, good game. That is Not Magic fun. the Gathering. We've already had a couple of <laughs> couple of rounds of Magic the Gathering already. But no, thank you so much, Chrono and Amy, for joining us. Really appreciate your time and your continued uh, presence in our community. You're both wonderful souls, and <laughs> uh, which I should have stressed for Kerrick and Cryptic as well, which I didn't. So apologies. You're also beautiful souls. <laughs> You're Thanks. wonderful people to play with as well. Thanks. Elegant smash by trees. <laughs> 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 the big the big dumb tree deck did the big dumb tree thing which is yeah, just literally yeah. what i'm doing it's just mm -hmm. coming in swinging a tree branch at people <laughs> yeah. oh, that's good it's honest magic i like it no fab thank you so much, much chat appreciated. we are going to take another we're going to take a slightly longer break just so i can put a little bit of food in myself so the next nice. pod is scheduled to start at 625 sorry 425 6, <laughs> 625 <laughs> see you losers uh, could, could i do a quick plug but... oh absolutely yes 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 <laughs> um hi yes hey folks uh Krono here um tomorrow is monday night magic on my channel uh twitch.tv forward slash chrono magistrate where amy will be joining me uh as well as chris from war room edh uh, along with uh, Prince of Beel Tan, aka Josh, uh, as we do another of the Universes Beyond Precon Wars. Uh, uh, we are going to pit Lord of the Rings versus Fallout versus Doctor Who versus Warhammer 40,000. Uh, so do tune in at 7 p.m. GMT for that if interested. Uh, Definitely. And I, uh, I am actually playing the dog meat deck as well. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, no, I'm torn. I was going to shout out my boy Josh for representing uh, the 4K universe. I, I was going to say, guess who's playing 40K? Yeah, yeah of, <laughs> of course. Like, I, like Luke, Luke. I wanted Luke and I wanted Josh to be uh, to be 40K reps uh, um, particular. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm on, I'm, I will be playing uh, Davros, uh, the, Masters of the Masters of Villainy deck for Doctor Who. I found it uh, a very, you... very good deck. I'm trying to think which Josh did. Oh, Josh is playing Tyranid. So, oh. so there's a <laughs> there's a sneak peek for you for, uh, for you folks. So. There we go. Yeah, Chris is playing the Frodo. Yes, Sam and Frodo. Uh, oh, food. Re regular appearance on the yeah. Shadowgate stream. So dog dog meat versus Sam and Frodo versus Davros versus the Swarm Lord. Uh, <laughs> Now, there's an interesting gathering if ever there was one <laughs> i feel like the professor made a gag video about what magic would look like in like 10 years time or something <laughs> like that and it sounds exactly like it <laughs> love it no i love it i like uh, i actually had quite a strong opinion about universes beyond and not like being particularly excited about it mm. but having seen uh how positive it's made for like the super fans of each fandom uh and myself getting getting to enjoy the 40k one as well. It's been it's been quite cool. And I suspect uh Assassin's Creed will be a big popular one too. Yeah, none of the upcoming ones are particularly like my fandom, but I'm very interested to see how they interpret them. Uh, mm. See, I am I'm basically gonna be saving money now for the Final Fantasy one and pretty much <laughs> buying the entire lot of it. <laughs> That's gonna make me broke, I think, that set when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope, right, that you get like all art PlayStation One graphics for like. Oh God, blocky cloud! Uh, <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want the um the, the one to six ones to be in like the pixel remaster frame yes. or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, so I think that's that's the showcase treatment for the Marvel cards coming up. 
is I'm secretly very excited about potentially showcase like front cover comic book art. Mm. I think I might lose my stuff if that's that happens. So, oh, that would be cool. Yeah, actually, be buying collector boosters to collect. I would actually issue, consider it issue, issue one of Spider Man's front cover. <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> oh. Yeah, especially Spider Man. Actually, if that if if that's not his epithet, the Amazing Spider Man, uh, oh, when they print his card. Uh, it needs to be like because it, it is it's marvel comics not marvel yeah. studio so fingers crossed all right folks well like we said we're gonna have a 10 10 minute break or so i said 10 minutes right where's discord yep. yes 10 mm -hmm. minutes so uh, yes me specifically because luke is going to go and enjoy the rest of his day yeah. and then we're going to come back for the final pod uh, with myself cryptic death and jay so thanks again, folks, and we'll see you, see you in a little bit. Cool. Awesome. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.
Okay. Hello, chat. How is everybody doing? Badly. Horrendously. Terribly. Good. Well, I hope uh, G and Death are in better spirits. I am always on great spirit. That's because you are a spirit. <laughs> and based on what we can see on stream, so is Jay. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Dragon. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Fabi. So chat, can everybody hear all the pod? Like let me let me know quickly if uh, if you can't hear anything. I will endeavor to to uh, adjust and fix. So folks, thank you so much for sticking with us. I know it's a long day. It's a long day of magic. Hopefully you if you've been with us from the start, you've been enjoying the game so far. Uh, we are about to shuffle up for the, the third and final pod. Uh, and we have the return of Cryptic, we have G, and we have Death joining us, as you can, can see. I, can, I, can you change my pronouns? Uh, oh god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, apologies. Technical difficulties. I mean, I, I was about to say, I'm so proud of myself, I've done everything. I was like, nope. I have not. I have not. He here. He HR. <laughs> Which is where I'll end up if I stop getting that wrong. Folks, how are we all doing? So yes, Jay, hello. Have you have you been watching any of the, the games so far today? Yeah, I have. Okay, been, you can lie to us if you want. I've been watching them, yeah. I've been chilling. Just playing some games, good. watching. Good man. Have you, are you, are you keeping well? Are you doing good? Some rough games. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, there has been some slog it slogs of games. But that's oh. oh. Sorry. Uh, some more how it is sometimes. Yeah, I was just saying that to the pod at the end. It's like, like no removal at all. Yeah, I don't play removal, so I'm hoping you guys can. <laughs> I didn't need to play removal in my first two games. You did not. You absolutely was, did not. I was the problem. <laughs> yes. Funkenstein 90, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're good. And Death, how are you? It's been a while since we've had you on stream. Are you, are you keeping well? Are you excited to be here? Please say yes. I'm excited to be here. I was looking forward to this. I nearly forgot when it is finally. Thanks for the reminder because my calendar is just so busy, so nuts. Like I have no idea what I, I'm living in May already. I'm I'm like my head is in May. Everybody I talk to, I speak about May, and we are in March. Yeah, yeah. See, I just live in denial. So. <laughs> so long well, commute. Egypt's a lovely place, though. Sure. Speaking Sorry. of denial and stuff, I'm actually playing Demir today, so I'm going to try to spy on all of you by surveilling myself to a victory, hopefully. That was an excellent opportunity to transition to the spell table. Love it, love it, love it. So we have we've done turn order, so we're all in our uh, correct seats, although I realize I have failed again by not actually putting the entire name of my commander in. I've clearly got distracted halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to music in the background. Awesome. That's probably, probably th everybody else should do that too. Just don't pay attention. Everything's okay. So yeah, if, if you, you... Go. sorry, sorry Baz. No, 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 if go you're looking go. for a recommendation, I'm listening to "Ascending Hate" by Graveworm, a band that needs more love. So show them some love. Nice. Check them out. I will. Big fan, big fan. Love, love, love a, love a recommendation. I think uh, I'm actually going to keep it open in seven. Jeez, oh. uh, but yes. So, folks, if you are watching on Twitch, please drop us a follow, as the superstar Funkenstein ninety just did, legend. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, please drop us a like and consider subscribing. Uh, it helps our channel a lot. Uh, How long has it been since you at least two hours. <laughs> Chill. Chill. Uh, so, with, with, so I, I didn't need the encouragement, but since I've got it, I will do it. So, if you are watching live, please think about sharing the link on social media. Let know people you're enjoying the stream, or if you're not, tell people to come and uh, dump on us. That's okay too. We're big boys, um. <laughs> literally and figuratively, and <laughs> literally. <laughs> Somebody clip that. Oh God, please don't. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, that the thing the last one. <laughs> <ever went. laughs> Whoa, what's that? It's it's death. 
see content creators you let them on and they just go wild love it uh so you can also support us by following and liking and doing all the things and if you want to go a step further you can drop us a twitch prime subscription on twitch or if you want to join our Kofi membership you can for as little as one pound a month should you choose uh, we are ramping up to command fest birmingham uh, which is at the end of checks diary we're not in april <laughs> we're not in april yet but we will be soon uh, so the end of next month we'll be in birmingham uh, with cryptic as well uh, and we're looking forward to spending lots of time with all the uk based creators and the community and then if that wasn't cool enough at the end of june you're going to see us in amsterdam so you'll see myself uh, and the shatter gang along with death you will be in amsterdam i will be there as well hell yeah very exciting so uh got to spend a lot of time with death in barcelona for magicon last year so looking forward to doing that again this year so with all that in mind does everybody have opening hands yep fabi well cryptic you roll high so please take us away hello i'm not gonna show myself oh yeah i actually didn't give anyone an opportunity to uh chill but I'm I'm playing for the first time in a very long time the not quite complete jelly bean. Um, so we, it's a landfall mid range deck. We're going to put a lot of triggers on the stack and hopefully use the uh, landfall trigger with Romnaf to kill the table. Landfall apparently very good, as we discovered in the last pod. Landfall is the best casual mechanic in my I, opinion. I totally agree. Cascade. Uh, uh, and yes, War Room. This is this is essentially Preston, but with four colours. Excellent. So we've had Preston in white, Preston in red, and now we're getting Preston in uh, Sands Black. Yes, in that it's got lots of triggers. <laughs> <coughs> That's okay. Being uh, treaded, it is. Do you want me to play, or do you want me to? No, no. We'll, we'll go around the table and we'll introduce ourselves and our commanders. So Baz, hi. I'm in the the left seat, left seat, top left. Uh, I am playing Blanca, Ferocious Fiend. We are doing Gruel Spellslinger, so we're going to cast Blanca, cast spells, hurt my opponents, and then maybe even punch my opponents. Who knows? For the but cultured yes. of you, that is the Howling Abomination. Cultured? Pfft. Yeah. Pfft. No. Universe is Beyond. I actually should have tried to do Universe is Beyond for all of my, my decks today. I almost did it with, technically with Baldur's Gate last time. but So yeah, we're, we're going to try and do big turns, big swings, see what happens. Blank I'll die, I'll be sad, and then I'll try over all over again. And Jay, yourself, new to the stream? Oh, in fact, no, yep. you were on the community day last time. Yeah, I was on the community uh, event last year, uh, I believe. It first time on the fun. stream, though. Yeah, yeah, first time on the stream. I'm going to be playing Mirim. This deck's all about cloning dragons and cloning Mirim as well. Hopefully nice. make a massive board of dragons. Too many to fit on a playmat. That's team of black. That's team of Preston. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or Preston, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Excellent. And yourself, Death. Welcome to the stream again. How are you? What are you playing? And tell us more. Tell us where we can find your stuff. Well, as mentioned, I am Death of Veil vale of Death and DG, the most metal CDH channel out here in the void of YouTube and content creation. But today we're taking a step back to play some casual on this lovely community day. I think I was even last year here. You were, yeah. And yeah, I'm just, again I'm playing Demir Reanimator. What's what's new? I always play Reanimator. So this is my casual Mercolis. It's basically the precon minus twelve cards that I improved upon, and I'm just here to have a good time and hopefully not die first. I can't promise anything. <laughs> Fabi, so that is the pod. Cryptic, if you could take us away. Good luck, have fun. Good luck. You too as well. Uh, I'll play an Arid Mesa. I'll be sacking it for a triumph and uh, passing the turn. Drop a turn. Uh, we will simply play the Spire Garden and pass. Draw for Tom. I will play a Sheevan Reef and pass. Come on, top deck Sol Ring. Nope. 
I will just play this tapped Port of Carfell from Kaldheim and Pass. Did somebody get a turn one solving in the uh, set pod two today? Bath? No. Ah. I don't think we actually saw a song ring in the second game. Uh, I got Sparrow's headquarters just. Oh, in fact, no, Luke okay. did. Luke did. He got it off an exile trigger. Or something. Uh, draw. Um, I'll play Steam Vents, go to 37, and then play a three visits and get another triome and pass. Yep. Three visits. Three ramp, visits. Ramp. Exactly. God, that Leyline Biden's going to be, like, cheap as. Draw for turn. Oh, that would have been good on turn one, but oh well. Uh, play this forest as land for turn. And I think... Yeah, we'll go two, and we'll cast a Sylvan Library. Nice. I will pass turn. On top, draw. I will play a Yavimaya Coast as my land for turn. I'll tap for two, cast a Moon Silver Key. And I'll pass turn. Alright, come on, top deck. Nope. I'll play this Jurassic Park Swamp because I'm just nice. that cool. <laughs> and pass the turn with you know, nothing to do. You guys are cooler than me. Clearly. Sorry. First time ever death. You're the coolest person I know. The issue, the issues with uh, fetch lands and ramping in the early game. Too much shuffling. Too much shuffling, exactly. Uh, we'll play a mountain, and we'll put. Let's play a Nissa Vaswood Seer. Nice. Uh, search, for, search for a forest and put it into my hand. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. And tap. Upkeep. Uh, draw step trigger. I'll draw two additional. So draw three. Three cards. And I will take eight. Go with 32. With the Sylvan Library. And then we'll play this Montagna. And then. Yeah, I think. We go three for this Bergie. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then if I can have a burgie, I'll be shipping it. On top. Mind you, I'm shipping it, even if I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it came underdressed for this party. I'm going to tap for one to sack this moon silver key. I'll go grab a soul ring. And then I'll tap for one to cast the soul ring. And then I'll tap the soul ring and cast a talisman of curiosity. Whoa. And then I'll pass the turn at that. Good times. Draw. Oof. I will be playing this tainted isle. And then I'll just cast Miracle. Obsessive Fearist. One free flying vigilance. That does stuff and I surveil and at the end of my turn, but there is nothing in my yard and nothing to surveil, so you have nothing to fear. I'm just a guy that wants to read in the library or something, you know, like in the beginning <laughs> of Ghost Hunter. And I'll pass. Uh, we'll pay for. We'll cast the jelly bean. Jelly bean on the stack. Are you okay with me? Mm -hmm. Jelly, Bean, Jelly Bean resolves ETB draw card. Uh, play my land for turn. Windswept Heath. 
trigger, I gain four life. Uh, sack the windswept teeth. And fetch a... Temple guard. Do one temple garden? No. Uh, where's the breeding pool? We'll get breeding pool. Um, and then I'll that'll into the battlefield trigger Omnath. I generate. Work manner. Uh, that's the breeding pool, which I'll have shock in. Um, I'll use the work to cast. Uh, Mina and then Wildborn. Uh, I may play an additional land on each of my turns. And then I can pay red and a green and return a land I control to my hand. Target creature gains trampled to the end of turn. Um, I will then play my additional land for turn, which is a forest. Trigger Omnath. Uh, it deals four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker I don't control. Take four. Take four. And I will then play a Thrasios Triton Hero. I feel like I came underdressed to a party, like I bring a knife to a machine gun fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fair, I did say I was going to, I was going to play Omnath. Yeah, but you know, didn't expect this on turn. Um, and then I will uh, send Nissa at Yerdar for two. Take two. And then I will pass the turn. And tap. Draw three additional. We will just take the one this time. Now that we're getting big swingies, getting thrown around. I mean, I know my ba my board is beautiful, Baz, but yes, it'd be good for the for the uh, for the stream to see your, what your board looks like. It has not advanced. <laughs> Thank you for the prompt. Yeah, the uh, stream is like I don't care about Baz's. Board. Yeah, <laughs> the game <laughs> is in fact already over. <laughs> stare at stare at cryptic board. <laughs> no, not even. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Oh, do we have to do... This is such a boring thing to do, but I think we might need to do it anyway. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shock in a stomping ground, go to 26. And then tap 1. To cast a Ragavan. Monkey. Monkey. A uh, Burgi trigger got red. Monk. Ring Monk. monkey. Okay. Monkey has replaced itself for the moment. <laughs> drink to that. That's a statement, isn't it? <laughs> we all we out here making statements. Uh, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go for 
Uh, three green and one red. Uh, quarter calling. Make a red. One drop. Yes. Or maybe just dry a darber. I'm passing on it. I don't care. I really want it for other cool things, but... I've looked, I, I've, I've looked very deeply into the top of my deck and I have yet to find uh, more things to do I in, the, in terms of mana. It's maybe that. It's maybe that. Uh, or maybe... Ah, yes. Birds of Paradise. And then, do we want to use this one red mana? Not right now. So we will ship it. Okay, on top. Draw. Tap, losing three life. Cast a Sarkin, unbroken. And a minus two Sarkin, make a 4-4 four, four red dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah, unfortunately, no land. Uh, so no madam. But I will pass it on. All right, I will draw for turn. Hey, Cryptic, I really enjoy what you did there. I think we can be friends. Yeah, I, I agree. I'll pay two life. Mm -hmm. I cast the Phyrexian Metamorph. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Do you want um, uh, do you want any of us would see it? Well, depends when it enters the battlefield, does it? I'm not, I'm not responding to it. <laughs> As? Oh, hey, live your life, man. Right, I'll have my own Omnath because I want to offset that, you know, all that damage coming my way. Seems good. Oh, so you don't you don't want to get the thing that searches for basic forest? Okay. No, because I don't have forest. So Fair I will draw a card on ETB. Then I'll play this beautiful island to gain four life. And then just because I can. And I like the number 37, Cryptic. You don't have anything with reach or flying, so I'll hit you for one. I will take one from Mirko. Just, you know, just a nice one because <laughs> nothing else is happening in, the, in my game. <laughs> That's fair. And I don't have fetch lands. Well, I do, but I didn't draw one, so I will just pass her. And tap. Um, we'll pay three for a cosmic rebirth. Uh, return, choose target, permanent card in your graveyard. If it's mana value is three or less, put it into the battlefield. If you don't put it on the battlefield, it goes to your hand, and then I gain three life. I'm going to target with sweat teeth. Gain three from the Cosmic Rebirth, and then gain four from my land, ETB. Uh, it is my seventh land, so Nissa Vaswood Seer transforms into Nissa Sage Animist. Enters with three loyalty. Um, I'm going to plus one Nissa. Reveal the top card of my library. If it's a land, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand. So Command man. tower. Um, so I will generate four, four mana. 
um, and then I will use the four mana to activate Thrasios. Descry one. Reveal the top card of my library. If it's land, put it onto the battlefield tapped. If not, draw a card. Scroll to the bottom. Uh, it's a druid class. going to pay two for a ruined ghost. And then I'm going to fetch. For a canopy vista, third land, four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker I don't control. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Thank you, muted bars. I am muted because I was <laughs> eating. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to I'll take four. Take one extra. Mm -hmm. Go to eighteen. And die for my greed. Yeah, play a land for turn. Do what we came here to do. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll cast our commander. Since that seems like a cool thing to do. Sounds like a Blanca. Definitely a Blanca. Do I get to have a Blanca? Yep, I don't care. <laughs> Woohoo! I care plenty. A uh, Burgie sees the cast. One red fluent. Think. Nah, there's no there's no planet I get a free attack with Ragavan. Indeed not. Indeed. I think we still have to do something. So I know what's on top of my library. Is it worth digging for? I actually don't think it is. Okay, we're going to go to combat? Question mark? Blanca at J. Yep. Um, no shenanigans. It's just going to be five. Good to go to damage. No blocks. Cool. Take five. I did something today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then second main phase. Uh, we are just going to let the mana fizzle and pass. Okay, untap. There be dragons. 
draw. Um, let's go to combat. Swing uh, Nissa, Sage Animist. Yep. Nissa has fallen again. If I could got, if I could have gotten through, I would have done the same. Uh, I'm gonna play a temple of the Dragon Queen. I'll reveal an ancient silver dragon to have it come in untapped. Uh, what color will I choose? Choose red. Uh, then I will pay two life to cast Madam. Going to twenty life. You got it. And if that's all good, I will pass Tom. At the end of your turn, you'd uh, I'd like to cast Worldly Tutor. Feel free. And then uh, while I'm searching, just carry on death. I know exactly what I'm getting. I just need to find it. Yeah, what are you getting? So I know the information. Is uh, I'm getting Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Why am I not surprised? Value. Go for my turn. Other card I wanted to see. So what I will do, I will cast the Curate. So I will surveil to you and I will draw a card. Nice. I will surveil this into the graveyard and this into the graveyard and draw a card. And I'll get a counter on my commander. Then I will play the swamp and gain for life. Starting to think I need an omnath. And then same, I will just same. because I like to <laughs> investigate and crack cases and stuff. I will cast a case of shifting visage. Ooh. So first lore counter is I well not lore counter, but for, the case will give me a surveil one in my upkeep, basically. That only gets solved when I have 15 or more cards in my graveyard at the end of turn, which I obviously don't. And once it gets solved, we don't really need to go into that. That's not going to happen probably this game, so we'll just ignore that. And I'll pass. Oh, wait, no, I will not pass. I will hit the cryptic for tutoring and holding me up for five seconds for two. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> you know, just a friendly laugh tap. You're hitting all of us for four and plus. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's more than fair. More than fair. I will be, I will be taking your... Uh... Phyrexia Metamorph Locus of Creation away from you soon enough, though. I, I'm not, I don't like this gaining four life nonsense. Sure. Kill it, mate. Uh, I'll draw that tatty over. Uh, let's cast tatty over. Benthic Druid. Fine. You got it. You uh, got it. I'll pay white and I'll tap Ruin Ghost to blink this command tower. Yep. You um, got it. Game four, and then game one from Tati over, and draw a card. Red and green. Um, I'm going to re return a lander control to my hand to give Omnath Trample. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to play my land for turn. Generating work and gaining, uh, drawing, life. gaining a life and drawing a card. Um. I'm going to use my second land for turn to play this Sacred Foundry. Uh, untapped. Dealing four to each of you and each of your Planeswalkers. 
I ain't got no walkers. Um, I'm going to use the green and red um, from my floating work to artifact mutation the locus, the Omnas Phyrexia metamorph. Destroying Ooh. target artifact, making four sapling tokens. Sure. No one gets to have any toys. Um, and then I'm going to use the remaining two mana and add three to it to cast a Shamanic Revelation. Nice. Yep. To draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards and gain eight life. Yep. Four, eight, nine cuts. And I'll then move to combat and I'll attack death for four with a four four trample. In a one, in a two, in a three, in a four. You will rue the day. <laughs> um, and then I will be going to clean up, discarding four cards. Baz, this is your moment. Kill him. This is my moment. Two. I mean, I'm going to try and put a dent in him, but we'll see what happens. Three. I'm dead on the crack bag. Uh, discarding a mountain, scaled herbalist, nature's law, and druid class. Yep. On top. Uh, Southern Library, draw three. Just uh, let's do a quick check. Yeah, we'll take we'll take an additional one. I'll take four again. We're ten. Oof. Like, not gonna lie, it's not looking great, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Did I math? Doesn't sound like me. Okay. A three. I'm going to cast a Snake Umbra targeting Blanca. Nice. A Burgi trigger. Um. I'm F6 here. You, you have your yeah, 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 yeah. Blanca becomes the target of a spell. Uh, it gets plus two, plus two, and uh, deals two to each opponent. Two. Do I get to have a snake umbra? Again, yeah. I have six. But... Yeah, I think I'm have six. Okay, cool. Okay. We're all tapped it. No worries. Right, so that is one of the three that matters. A, the one red floating in a green. A, cast a prize fright, targeting Blanca. Trigger Bergy, trigger Blanca. Yep. Everybody takes two. Take two, 40. 49. A, snake Umber triggers, draw a card. Oh, sorry, draw three cards. Three, three opponents. 
A uh, prize fight, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Uh, I will have Blanca fight uh, Omnath. And that's so much easier to say because there's only one on the board. Nobody will have start, a start, a start. I mean, uh, prize fight, creates a treasure. Yeah, if price fight also targeted your creature, so we, your Blanca, so does it not trigger again? You already I, did the trigger. I did it. I, I did it at the start. Oh, okay. Uh, create treasure. One treasure. Okay, Blanca has had two spells targeted at it. Okay, so Blanca has full of four damage assigned on it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. The only thing with this is sometimes you have to blow your load and then it just doesn't work out. But that's okay. That's kind of like life. Uh, float a green. Uh, sure enjoy that. Cast. Yeah. Uh, cast <laughs> Verdis <laughs> Veridicent Wisps, target and Blanca. Yep. Uh, target creature becomes green and gets plus one, plus O until end of turn. Draw a card. Everybody takes two. Yep. Uh, draw three because of three opponents. Uh, so Blanca has trample. Blanca does indeed have trample. Uh, sorry, we got another red from Bergy. Where are we at? Storming off. Storming. Absolutely storming. Uh, and I actually think we have to. Mm, is that a bit excessive? Maybe it's a bit excessive. I think it might be correct. Berserk on Blanca. Oh, yes. Uh, I think what we're going to do two floating treasure. So you keep drawing three and it changes your game plan. <laughs> so Blanca is currently a 12 12 11. 12. Oh, 12, 11. Thank you. Because it's plus one, plus oh. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah, I think we'll... Yes, okay. Uh, we'll go green uh, for a bushwhack. Uh, target Blanca. Trigger Bergy. Uh, everybody take two. Yep. Five more smell, spells and J dice. Yeah, I'm close. Uh, drop All my mana sources cost life. <laughs> <laughs> also, what creature are you targeting to fight? Uh, I will be targeting Tatiova. Actually, no, it's probably correct. No, 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 actually. I was going to say, it should be Miriam. Uh, I think you might not be long for this world, Jay. Yeah. And uh, that'll be the fourth. Depends how many spells you chain here. <laughs> what's, what, what's Blanca fighting? Uh, Tatiova. Okay. And then... Oh, I'm just here, not fretful at all. I lost my own. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. That's impressive. Okay, man. we'll go to combat. We will send Blanca at Cryptic. Yeah. How much mana you got? I have access to five. Because Bergy's uh, mana doesn't uh, phase. Until the end. Saplings, saplings, and for uh, and a Thrasios. Underneath. 
So I think that would be enough to kill Blanca. That's uh, five power. You've got he's got he's massive. Yeah, but he's fought twice. He's fought a three three and a four four. Yeah, so true. Okay, dokie. Cool. Any more shenanigans there with the blocks to clear? Yes. I'm trying to see if I have I have more shenanigans that are equitable. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the floating burgy mana. Uh, cast a Fist of Flames target in Blanca. All lose two? Lose Everybody two. lose two. Six. Uh, draw a card. And then, sorry, draw four. Is that plus the one for on the actual card? And then it says, until end of turn, target creature gains trample and gets plus one, plus one for each card I've drawn this turn. Uh, so Sylvan Library was two. Then we have cast... It doesn't matter, Baz. Four. I think I've got enough. You, you killed him. Ba ba Baz, you should yeah, have yeah. been drawing three for every single... I did. Yeah, I so, it's, it, so it's, it's like 17 cards. Yeah. <laughs> so... I thought so. I was just making sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm also very tired and been. Uh, I mean, it did a thing. I'm now at ten, though, looking down the gun at dragons. Well, I can cast six more spells with this mana base. Unless Baz just now chains. Uh... Also, Baz is supposed to get a red for casting whatever. You Thank do. you. If if you cast three more spells, you just kill. Uh... Uh, I mean, we can chain some spells. We've got four. Uh, I'm at 20, and I have a 2-4. Yeah. I'm not the threat here. I'm not, but I, know, I know, I know. Chris can kill you. Well, I mean, Jay can kill you. He can. But I think... I think... I think we might still be here. Uh, if you did bear with me a moment. The curse of drawing too many cards. Yeah, man, do your thing. Do my thing. Yes, I think in case the dragons do come for me, uh, use one of the red and tap for a green. Uh, cast a ram through target and Blanca. It's a bit overkill, I know, but oh, we're going to Mirum, target Mirror. Oh, Mirum's ward, right? Well, you have to pay two, but you have treasure and the red. For... You have enough yeah, to pay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna target the the token dragon. The token instead. Yeah, because then I don't have to pay ward. Yeah, sure, no worries. We almost two, and then you die. Yep. <laughs> and then excess that will, that will indeed kill you. Uh, draw three. G -G? <laughs> Sorry. No, but it would good. be silly not to continue the value train with so many spells cast. If you didn't kill me, I would probably have killed you on my turn. So <laughs> I thought it would and, be incorrect death, not to. And death had I had I had more than one life, I think I would have been able to kill you both. Ooh. So well, uh, that that makes me feel less bad. That makes me feel <laughs> less bad. Uh, okay, and then we'll use the last mana, and we'll cast a gutter snipe. Hmm. Okay. Pa pa oh That's well. You have to, clean you have up. To, if you can kill Blanca, you have to kill Blanca. Like. <laughs> yep. But Blanca has totem armor on it. Well, the, no. What I mean is, you you just don't. If you can kill it, and it would before the turn cycles up, you kill you kill the Blanca. Hundred percent. Oh, I just didn't have the thing that I know I could kill the Blanca with. Otherwise, the blanker wouldn't be on the on the table. <laughs> I assumed as much. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, going to clean up, discarded, runaway scene, Kim, nature's claim, wild growth, twin ferno, uh, steam killing artist, uh, shout out. In fact, nobody can see it just now because it's not on my screen. Uh, useless knowledge that a proxy for us and a beast within. All you death. What's the umbra on the? A snake umbra. 
So it has totem assume... armor, but does it have plus one, plus one or something? Or... It does have plus one. Plus one, plus one, and then whenever it deals damage, uh, draw a card. It's a six. It's currently a six. So you have no open mana available to you. Gutter Snipe is a 2-2, two, two, Ragavan 2-1, Bergy free. Yep. Bird's 0-1. I will go to my turn. In my upkeep, I will surveil, thanks to whatever the thing I'm doing. That's a curious little card to see. How much does this help, actually? I'll keep it and then I'll draw it, but my commander will gain a counter. Oh no, I tapped my flying blocker. Then I will play this island. Now you say you have 10 life. I have 10 life. Do it, Death. Do it. Come death on. or glory. <laughs> the thing is... I can get you to one. Oh no. Ooh. So, it's all right. Um chat chat has redeemed Baz takes one damage. <laughs> but actually I found a way to do it in a nicer way. I will kill nicer you. Nicer way. Yeah, I will kill you. Yes. Okay. Right now. Yes, death. Right. <laughs> Attack for free. Yep, declare no blocks. Then check this out. Here's a soul ring. Five, six. <laughs> Here's a massacre worm. Damn. <laughs> Which will kill your three little guys and give your burgie into a one one. Yes, it will. I will, you will lose, lose six think. lives to go to one. Beginning of end step, reanimate Phyrexia and Metamorph, make it a Massacre Worm, you lose four life from that, your Bergy dying. Yeah, you got it. Because I can't change the target of a, a choose. I can only change the target of a... Yes, Death! <laughs> yeah, you got it. I was saving this for my turn, for my turn one there as well. Oh, no. So we, had no chance. we had no chance. I also had a Twilight Prophet and a things of seconds. I was just here <laughs> contemplating what to do. But hey, Mirko could and Mirko did it. <laughs> you got there. New one. Woofty, woofty. Also, there was no other creature in my graveyard that's why I so you can even change the target. Even if you could have. And even oh, if there was a target. bigger target, it's still based on Mirko's less than his power. Mm. So there was physically no way for you to do it. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. I was sitting on gas. I. I kept being like one mana short to killing everybody because I had a Chandra's ignition. Oh. And had I thought about it, I probably should have done that instead of going for something else. But you can I... say that death wins surprisingly. Yeah, but convincingly. <laughs> the little flyer that could. But also goes to show chip damage matters. Chip damage, chip damage matters. always matters. And uh, also gaining eight life throughout the whole game. Yes, getting an omnath was brutal. That's but why I didn't wipe the board. I wanted an omnath. Makes total sense. Absolutely makes total sense. <laughs> Love it. Oh my goodness. Well. We get the game two? I think we have time. We got plenty of time for game two. Well, here's another free because I cannot roll today. Let me check in the chat. How is chat? How are we all doing? Are we, are we staying good? Oh, breakdown. Welcome in. How are you doing? Great win. It was a very good win. Very convincing win. Yeah. Got it. Love seeing the love for our, our good people. Uh, okay, reset. Kept the commanders. Oh, I know what I'm doing. This is great. Now I have to reset the UI. Oh dear. This is where it all goes wrong. Foolish. Foolish mortal. Yeah. Little Mirko dead kid. The little Mirko dead. And dead. And dead. Right. I need to get some shuffles. Uh, just want to run back to the same commanders? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with this. 
I barely did anything. I copied one creature, it died, I reanimated it, and I cast the Massacre Word. I mean, you got to have the tools to finish the job. I did it. You got there. Yeah. It's now we're nice going to get absolutely pumped by Mirum. I can see it coming right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty bad <laughs> moment in the first game. Let's see if I can uh, get something yeah. a bit better. I just kept drawing lands, even when I surveilled lands to the graveyard, it made me sad. Nice. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Hey, uh, we do high roll. See who's going first. Can I high roll again? <laughs> oh my god, I got lower than the last time. Three. Nine. Nine. Thing is still one. Dang it. Uh, cryptic. Unless you again. Uh, wait, hold on. I roll 12. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'll go for it. Uh, is, is 11 your actual roll? Yeah, 11 was actually the roll. Cool. Yeah, hey, 11 is the roll. Watch can do it. I don't know. You're a memer. Sometimes we have to keep an eye on you. But you are an honest one. So I don't, don't want that to be. Lying in EDH? Who would do that? Oh, God. I'm not playing CEDH. That thing. sounds like Discord. A discourse, rather. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We all live for the discourse. Oh. No. <laughs> we really don't. I will keep this weird hand. We are going to mulligan this one. We are going to mulligan this one. I'm again last. Oh, I'm, I'm just here chilling and not it's doing just here anything. for the banner. Right, this is going to look weird because I'm going to jump back to faces for a brief moment. But that's largely just to say to reset the round timer. I have a face. You have a, a beautiful face. I've seen it. But my beard is nicer. This is true. Wait till you see me in Amsterdam. Maybe it's gotten longer. Yeah, it depends on the humidity. I could be much fluffier. Outside of being single, no one to shave for. Well, that's the joys of being a parent. You've been so busy, no one actually cares what you look like. They understand. <laughs> to shave, to shave. Well, while you guys moving, I mean, I will just shout you all out. We almost got clapped by uh, Blanca, so if you're just tuning in, sit tight, because game two is just around the corner. We got Dingus on Omna, we got Shadow Gang Bass on Blanca, we got Jay on the dragons that copy each other, and I cannot spell the name, so I would rather not try it. And me, the host that has taken over Shadow Gang, Jeff himself, on Mirko, reanimated. Could not have done it better myself claps in chat hashtag death the host death the host i mean that you know oof, the future is bright I, 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 I future is always bright even with death staring you in the face hashtag down with baz <laughs> it's it's correct actually this hand, no kings or queens. this hand is a trap i'm not even gonna look at the top down with baz yes hey, i've, I've been beating a, a lot today I have a political card in my hand, and I will use it to my best ability. No, we don't do politics here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> except, except, <laughs> that's the perfect except, thing you said, because it fits to the card. You will except, see once I play it. Except for abolish the monarchy. Yes. This is this is funnier <laughs> than abolish the monarchy. You, you will see once it hits play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is my six. Let's see what we get. Oh, we're gonna go back to standard version of thing. Five, 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 five. Manifest five. Manifest five. Oh. So remember, Baz is the Fred. Cryptic is the ramp. The dragons are here to stay, and I'm not doing anything. 
classic Demir coming in right at the end and taking the kill. Yeah, still in that one. <laughs> so very sneaky, 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 sneaky. Uh, yeah, I've got my set. <laughs> right. I was just, Good. you know, at the right place at the right time, not doing much. We all good to go. Yeah, I've got a hand. Everybody good? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Have fun. Sure. Good luck, everyone. Command Tower, Sakur Tribe Scout. Ooh, That's the modern term. all star. <laughs> yes, from yeah. probably 10 years ago, Death. <laughs> I, I played it just like two years ago. So I uh, forest, modern tap forest, venerated rock beast. Oh, Ooh, uh, poison. Uh, I'm not a threat, Pastor. Off a turn. You have a Maya Coast. Pay one life for a green. <laughs> Cast a uh, Birds of Paradise. <laughs> right. I will draw for turn. Have you Ooh. got a one mana green creature? <laughs> Here's the path of ancestry tap like last time. I just. <laughs> 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 you guys have your that fun. question. <laughs> Uh, we'll play a Hallowed Fountain tapped and uh, pass then. And tap draw. Uh, we will play this Contested Cliffs. Tap for two. And we'll play this. Spoiler alert, I have two two drops in my hand. They worked out well last time. Sylvan Library. <laughs> Seen that play before. <laughs> yep, I'm quite a predictable player. Pass turn. Oh, actually, oh, wait, I've got uh, Death. You, you know you can attack anyone, nobody can block you. Because you know that, right? Wait. How can no one block me? Zero, one, 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 you have a one, two. Nobody, nobody has good blocks on no one's gonna blow that. Yeah, that's true. Cryptic attack you for one. I've been talked to a given death a toxic. <laughs> the politics at play. You have been infected. You're gonna die. Tap. I I know. Oh. No no you can, no 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 words. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead, mate. Yeah. Play a um, mountain. Take. Forever. That for two for a talisman of impulse. Mm -hmm. That for one and a green for a nature's law. I will Ooh, grab this time. A Katoria Triumph and I'll pass on. Let's see, what will I do on turn two? Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll get a Katoria Triumph. Sorry, on you go. I will play this Port of Kerfalf or whatever the hell it is called, like you saw last time in past turn. Deja vu. I'm going to tap this to put this forest into play. Mm -hmm. I told you I ain't got good plays here, man. Hey, Fefner. How's it going? Long uh, time wooded, no see. Wooded foothills. Bet it looks a lot different from the last thing you saw us. <laughs> what are we doing, my friend? Steam vents. Go to thirty six. Do I want steam vents? I think I want steam vents. Yeah, I'll take steam vents. It's a good choice. Jelly bean. ETB draw card. Yep, oh, you got it. <clears throat> Uh, 
uh, tap to put a land into play. Uh, Windswept Heath. This is the first time this triggers game four. Yep. Um, sack this. I've seen this before. <laughs> For a spaghetti. Jetmere's Garden. Generate work. Mina and then. Not quite with Mina and then. I uh, use the work to cast Oracle of Moldaya. Nice. Um, the other top card is Nature's Law. Play my additional land for turn. Forest. Uh, third time this is triggered, you each Lou take four. And uh, each of your planeswalkers take four. Nobody has blockers. To plead my case, I don't have Toxic Delusion in my hand right now. Um, I have you at 39 for cracking the fetch, or am I wrong? No, you're correct. You are right. Cool. Yeah. It doesn't happen very often with life total is death. That's why I was checking. F. Death, I like I like the uh, the hustle of convincing me not to attack you. Well, also, uh, you just cast it. So Omnoth doesn't have, doesn't have haste. I mean, the deal's good for another turn, right? Nope. <laughs> Again, just saying, I don't have what what you want. So. I will pass the turn. I will give okay. you a prediction. Next turn, I will play a land and pass the turn. I guess. Sylvan Library, draw an additional. Oh my god. Let me just check what's in my hand. God damn. Yep. I actually think. Yep, take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to eight. I just love the cryptic wanted to attack me, even though I didn't kill him last time. I didn't want to attack you. You're the one who brought up attacking. I wanted to attack Baz, if I could attack with Omnath. He's got, he's, got, he's got a Sylvan Library. He's got a Sylvan Library. Still have the chance next turn. I do oh, not have a Sylvan Library. You most certainly do. Oh yeah, that thing. Oh sorry, yeah. <laughs> well. Jay, like, uh, looking at us, like what insane people am I playing with? <laughs> what is what is going on? Okay, so we played a land crag crown pathway on the red side. And we'll go one, two. Do we want to tap the red? We want to tap the red. The green. For this talisman of Elm Pulse. You, uh, yeah, you, you, you had a very, very shiny, shiny one there, Jay. So I thought I'd join you. It looks very grey. I don't know what's up with this print. No, it's just that's mir <laughs> that's mirrored in. That's mirrored in. Yeah. And then I think it will be funny, so I'm going to do it. So red, colorless, I will play Kark the Thumbless. Oh, coin flips. Pardon, Kark has no thumbs. I, and this time, in fact, no, maybe we need some, nah, fuck it. Hey, Kark, uh, Kark, Kark, what are these? Kark, Kark. <laughs> 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 I wish I had the whole board up for that. Uh, Jay, it is your turn to join the Poison Gang. Take one. Take in the one. And passing. You will be blue. And checks hand. Yep, checks out. Pass. And uh, ah, well. tap. We have to do something about Yodar now because there's a movie showing up. I mean, I've started the Poison Train. Just pro proliferate it. You know, you're welcome. Yeah, me and what proliferate. Yeah, if I will be playing, you know, some, some other commander that has, you know, <laughs> stuff, I would proliferate gladly, but we, oh, we're not playing that. I can't wait to build my proliferate deck. Here come dragons. <laughs> there be dragons. No, not yet. 
Last can I cast Kira? I pass on Kira. Passing on Kira. I'll minus one Kira on tap in the Katoria trial. And then I will tap for red, red, and a colorless, and I'll cast a Dragon Speaker Shaman. Okay, Dragon a, spells a... cost two colorless less to cast. Here I going to be an anger of gods. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass turn. Every time oh, I see a Kira, I just I'm expecting to see a Lotus Field. Hey, look, here's the River of Tears. Everybody knows how River of Tears works, right? Mm. Yeah. And I'll pass turn. Yeah, the Kyora is mainly for the passive ability in this, this deck. Oh, of course. All Drawing these cards. Uh, that's a Lotus Cobra on top. That seems good in landfall. It does, doesn't it? Sorry, Fefner, just seen that the funny play is always the biblically correct. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll cast Nature's Law. You got it. I'm F6, brother. Don't ask me for a I'm just checking. There's a there, you are a Demir player. You, you know how many counter spells that this precon have when it was shipped? Two. Not a lot. One. Two. One and a half. It was one man. It was at five mana. It's good, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go and get um Cinderglade. Uh, I'll be gaining four. Four. Uh, we build the top card again. It's a uh, Selexia Sanctuary. That's pretty good. Your cryptic, if you have an additional Omnath that's in foil from that art, I will gladly take one off you on uh, Amsterdam. If you would, I, if the... I, I don't have this in foil. I'm just saying, if you would have that, I will gladly take no. it off you for free, you know. <laughs> <As a gift. laughs> I'll, play my, I'll play my first land for turn off the top, which is Selesnia Sanctuary. Hmm. That's a weird shuffle. Um, generate work. With Omnath, and I'll return the Selesnia Sanctuary to my hand. I'll use my second, my additional land drop to play Selesnia Sanctuary. Uh, deal four to each of you and each of your planeswalkers. Um, and then I will have the Selesnia Sanctuary bounced to my hand. And then in, do I want the Selesnia Sanctuary to bounce to my hand? No, I don't. I'll have the forest bounce to my hand. And then in addition to the work, I'll add five and cast Sakama. Oh. Don't look at me over here. I'm getting out of what's happening. Um, Untap all my lands when it enters the battlefield. If you cast them, yes. Yeah, I've cast it. Um, I untap for all my lands. And. I'll move to combat. And I'll send Omnas at Baz for four. Seems correct. Uh, Zakama, Zakama, Zakama. Do I want to make sure I can? Ah, fuck it. It's the funny play. Yeah, yeah. I take the two, the four, two, the four, four jelly bean. And I suppose we just hold up the Zakama and pass the turn. Or we can just wipe the board. On top. Uh, Sylvan Library. Let's see what the top three are. 
certain I won't be taking. Let me just. Yeah, we can just go one. It was the right one. Look at me. Okay, Zakama. Wow. Indeed. Zakama, Zakama, Zakama. Uh, play Yavamaya Hollow as land. And then I think I'm just going to pause. Dean's asking me to set full send. Full send? Me, me when I didn't. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to put this Oracle of Mordai into harm's way, Dean. Uh, yeah, I think all, he means all you full just... send with Zakama with all the abilities and Break everything. Oh yeah, I can. I'll. I probably will be. Blow it up. Blow it up. Good to go. Yeah, please. Yeah, do your do your thing. On tap and draw. Cast uh, Merum for two less. Hey, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, ETB trigger Kiora, draw a card. Dr. Mathis, I miss my Zakama deck. <laughs> People tend to be quite fond of their Zakama decks. There isn't quite any many like uh, it. Down tick Kiora targeting this Katoria Triumph. In response to that, yep, uh, I work to pay red and two and do three damage to Dragon Master Shaman. Shh, Dragon Speaker Shaman, that's the one. You got it. Trigger on taps. Uh, I'll tap the boards. Cast a Wild Growth, targeting this Katoria Triumph or Ketria Triumph. Sorry. And then I will tap this for, doesn't matter, two green, cast a Lanamar Elf, and play a Copper Line Gorge as my land for turn. And then I'll pass at that. End of your turn. I'll have a Path of Ancestry trigger. I would like to flash in this Final World Phantom. I will scry on the cast. I don't want this card. I pass oh. on Phantom. Oh, big pass. Then I will go to my turn. Draw a card. Hmm. Play the Swamp. Trigger River of Tears, black, like this, blue, black, and whatever. I will cast Mirko. And then I will cast Otherworldly Gaze, Trigger um, Mirko. You got a scry from your Path of Ancestry yeah. from when you cast Mirko. Okay. That, that goes to the bottom, I guess. Thanks. Otherworldly gaze. I would like to surveil free. You got oh, it. Good. Leave them all free on top like, as is. Ooh. Big pacifist, big nothing, big big silly, big big coward pastor. Uh, at the end of the turn, I'd like to three damage the Rot Priest. Hey, I would like to respond. Uh, Rot Priest only is counting, by the way, on spells, right? Not on ability. Right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ability on the stock! Ability on the stock! Uh, actually. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Uh, go one, two, three, uh, tapping the talisman for 
colorless. Uh, I'm going to cast a Chaos Warp targeting Zakama. Uh, Krark trigger. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Krark trigger. Uh, odds. Oh wait, where is it? Heads. Lose the flip. Okay, let's say heads wins, tails lose. Uh, tails will be odds, heads will be evens. Lose. Don't make a copy. Uh, oh, sorry, no. Win the flip. Copy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've so I don't get it. the copy. Yeah. So it just goes back to my hand. Yeah. Uh, so with the ability still in the stack, I'll go green and I'll target the rock priest, uh, regenerating it. I will respond to that. I will tap my Sakura Tribe Scout to put this forest into play. Got it. I'm not uh, sure. I'll gain four. And then I'll pay red and two to shoot it again. Cool. Got it. Draw this Lotus Cobra. And this is why I almost blocked the Kark last turn. I was like, this is going to screw me. <laughs> yeah. Folks, if you're watching along and you haven't dropped a follow, please consider following us on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, drop us a like. You can consider subscribing. Big love. Move to combat. Omnath at Baz. Zakama at Yeda. 9-9, nine, nine, vig Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. <laughs> yep. Stormgrad no. games, rather just follow you home. <laughs> you creep. I hope you're doing, mate. I hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, I oh, I really don't want to block with Kirk, but I should, right? Yeah, we're going to block with Kirk this time. Um... We'll do it now. Uh, we'll disenchant the uh, Sylvan Library. Seems good. Uh, I don't think this poison is going to matter anymore, but I'll, I'll keep it to the side just in case. And we'll pass the turn. Well, my board looks significantly different now. Draw for turn. Although Crark and Blanca are a good time, I'm not going to lie. We'll play this forest as a land for turn. But Priest and Blank oh, Crark are... Disgusting. Secretly way too good for this deck that I can't allow them to stay. Oh no, like, I have yeah. zero beef. <laughs> like, they're in the deck for a very specific reason, and yeah. that's you've yeah. correctly identified. Uh, okay. How do we get back? How do we get back in this game? Yeah, I think. We're, yeah, I think we're just gonna pass him four cards. And <coughs> on top. Well, good to have Draw you here, Rich. It's been a while. Just right, my life total and uh, spell table was wrong. Sorry, folks. I should be at 20. Liar. It's more important than it's accurate on stream because <laughs> I keep forgetting on stream. <laughs> uh, spend five, cast a uh, sock on Unbroken. He's back. Uh, I will plus one to uptake him. Draw a card. I uh, will add. A green to my mana pool. Uh, 
Also, Dean, uh, excellent use of emojis. Proud of you. Play an island is my land. Bottom. Uh, tap for red, green, two colorless. Cast a dragonborn champion. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, ETB trigger on Merim. Create a copy. Also, trigger Kyoda. So draw two cards. One, two. The camera has reach, right? Yep. Uh, gonna go to combat. I'll swing six at you, death. And the ear. Sitting quietly in the corner. Do you have <laughs> trample there, mister? I do not. I will just jump with my final world phantom. Yep. Uh, Pass on. Bro. I knew the card was there. I'm going to play my political card for the time. Expropriate. Politics. <laughs> Ransom note. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love this card, to be fair. So I'll surveil one, which I remember it being there, so I'll just keep it there. And, yeah, for two, either I can cloak the top card, go target creature, or draw a card. Play island. And then just Jay, since you have no more flyers left because your dragonborns don't fly, right? I will just tickle you for free. Take three. I'll not even attack your planeswalkers just because I'm so nice. Yeah, they're gonna die on that triggers anyway. We'll see. End of turn. Final world phantom returns with a I will put the skull on it as a finality counter. Uh, so, in the end step, once mm -hmm. you resolve that. So that's the target. So sure. Yeah, no, no, you can. I'm not responding to that. Um, more. I have no discards and stuff here. So. Let's uh, Zakama three damage to the original Dragonborn. So you just killed uh, Skyrim, is what you're saying? Yep, I destroyed Skyrim. <laughs> Got way too many re-releases, doesn't need that many. That's a sacred foundry. Play Lotus Cobra. Ooh. Baz, you're the one with open mana. I sure am. What would you like me to chaos warp? <laughs> I'm just asking if you have Lotus any Cobra. responses to Lotus Cobra. <laughs> I mean, I don't have good answers. My 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 one trick is a chaos warp, and I don't know if right now is the right time to do it. But please tell me if it is, because I'm just stating uh, I'm going by the priority train. Sure, I will pass priority on those cobra. This jig also doesn't. I do too. I'm fine. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I'll play my land off the top. Uh, Sacred Foundry, lose two, but gain four. Sounds like a cryptic thing to do. Path to Exile on top. Uh, generate a green with Lotus Cobra. Mm -hmm. uh, use the green floating for Cultivate. Good. Passes, passing, unpasses. Yep. Uh, search for 
two basics. Uh, we'll get a island to hand and a mountain tap to the battlefield. Uh, generate work with Omnath and an additional one from Lotus Cobra, which will be a red. Play my additional land for turn, which is that island. Get a green and deal four damage to each of you and each planeswalker you control. It's a bloodbath. I'm just chilling here. Again, I, I feel like I said at the wrong table where all of you have machine guns and I have a rubber knife. Mine's just like a like a really like a one trick pony. It's like a I don't know like a potato gun. Is that a thing? I still can kill people. Use the red and the green and the island to three damage to the token dragonborn. And then move to combat. Combat? Yep. Mm -hmm. Four Omnath at Sarkhan and Zakama at death. Zakama at me? Yeah. You don't want to even discuss this, okay? Nope, we don't no. discuss this. All right. There is no I discussion to be had with Zakama. It is just primal calamity. I played that couple of calamity. People used to hate me for it. It's a very good commander. I was hoping maybe Baz would help me, but you know, Baz don't want to help me. Baz is, hey. I, I think Baz is prepared to let you take nine and then deal with the thing he wants to no, deal I, with. I, I, I took nine, gladly. <laughs> oh, no, I was. I actually was going to do it now. Before damage? Yeah. I, 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 I can't be what's happening like i don't have the same hand as what i had last time uh, so yeah i will put a chaos warp on the stack target and zakama okay. uh, how do i want to respond to this a uh, camly with <laughs> love <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm going to throw this glass over the, over the room. For six, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. No response. Shuffly and then reveal. It will be so funny if it's the same card that comes back. <laughs> I mean, it can be. Like, that's... At least it will not have a cast trigger. That is a uh, most true. But yes, I was holding up Chaos Warp to see if I was going to get attacked. I, I could have imagined. Which I figured is why Cryptic didn't attack me. But yeah, I can't. I don't have enough resources to keep sitting on three mana spells and do nothing. It's a far seek. Oh. Nice upgrade. Okay, now you can go damage. I'm good. Carry I'll on. keep uh, nine extra life. Uh, on top. Drop. Yeah. 
I'm sad to see that card. I knew I knew that was there. I know what's on top of my library, and I ain't much happier. Yeah, the rogue's passage will be land for a turn. Politics. Always. Always. You're not dead until you're dead. You're not dead until you're dead. You're not dead until you're dead. Uh, so in case there's any hope of getting back in, we'll go five for a Blanca. Mm -hmm. Pass on Blanca. Okay, Blanky ETB has haste. I will not be attacking. I'll be moving to end step. Bus turn. Draw. That's not good. A relic or it all? Mm. Pass the turn, sadly. Oof. End of turn. <coughs> I know this is not going to be nice, but I'll just do it anyway. I will cast Price of Fame for two because it's targeting a legendary creature, which will be Myrim Sentinel Worm. Well, two. And then I'll pay two extra for the ward. Go back to command. Surveil surveil two. Most the thing I want to do. I need to remind myself what then I have to do. The jelly bean survives another turn. The thing is with the jelly with this, it's actually recast it, draw a card at this point. There's so much there's just so much mana. I'll and put this card in the grave, which is a forest dispersal, and keep this on top, and go to my turn. Also, commander grows by one. Draw this mysterious card. Hey, Cryptic. Yeah? I think we can start sharing something. Do you want an Omnas again? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. Be... I will cast Connive, which is the first part instead of Concoct, and gain control of target creature by power two or less, targeting Oracle of Moldaya. It's a 2 2. You can have that. Yeah, yeah, I have an Oracle of Moldaya permanently in my game. Now I get to reveal the top card of my library. Oh, look, it's a land. I will play it. Reveal the top card of my library. Oh, look, it's a soul diviner. Um, hey, Baz. Hello. What are your plans with that Blanca? Block. Blocker. Okay. Okay, just, to, <laughs> just to even the playing field, Cryptic, I'll hit you for four in the air with my Mirko. Uh, I like uh, helping people around. So I'll take four. Because you know, Baz is at 16, I'm at 28, he's, uh, Jay's at 14. Wait, uh... what happened? <laughs> hey, Dawson, how you doing, mate? Yeah, 100 days to Amsterdam. Yeah, no, I'll pass because I, again, have not much to do this game. We'll draw that card I knew about. 
Oh no, now it's a mystery on top. I can't take the anxiety. We'll cast Farseek. Sorry, I missed the damage going to cryptic. Of course, that makes sense. We're all human. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I'm losing my humanity one turn at a time, turning into the howling abomination. At least you're not a spirit like me. What do we want? That's a, like a very good question. I don't know what you want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. We'll get Sparrow's headquarters. Um, you gained the four life back, which I took from you. Game four back and uh, generate a white. Oh, who's getting passed to exiled? Nobody. Damn it. Wait, yes. everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody's <laughs> getting farewelled. Um, oh, perhaps. You have three other cards that say Lotus Cobra with the different mana symbols on it as well. No. No. Ah, Stormgrad, you're going to Amsterdam. That's exciting. Didn't know that, mate. But yes, definitely crack a crack a jar or two. Need to do a proper search. Well, I can see everything. Give me one second. Also, I have to pay two extra mana for taking your Oracle of Moldai, I just realized. <laughs> it's not four mana, two mana to steal, it's just four mana to, to steal a creature. Still a good rate. Um... At least it's my permanently. Oh, definitely. Like, I literally went to Cryptic's house, took it out of the sleeve, and put it into a new sleeve. Pulled his pants down, the whole rest. The whole, the whole shebang. Well, not, not that far. It's for the Patreon people to hear. <laughs> After hours, you heard it here first. Because when, when I was looking at it, I literally could only see the Demir Demir symbol, not the two extra. Like, yeah, yeah. That's easy done, man. This is a this is a head scratcher. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how you're going to beat Disco Frodo. It's a tough one, Dawson. Don't know what the Saturday um, night party is. There is no night party. Unless the one you make yourself. Uh, Black Lotus ticket holder. I wouldn't know if there's a party. Uh, X is four. Uh, I'm going to cast Wargate. 
Ooh. Search your library for a permanent with converted mana cost X. Put it into play. Bass passes and J passes. I will pass. You get to Wargate. Yep. Pass. Enjoy your life. You, know, you enjoy yourself. I like I could stop you if I tried. Even. Man, why did I feel like I've been playing Magic all day and not had any food? Oh, yeah. It's probably happened. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chrono. No, I, I've been snacking. We'll get Omnath Locus of the Royal. Hey. <gasps> My pre release promo. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, he deals damage to any target equal to the number of elementals I control. Should be two. Two. It would be two. How big is your phantom? So yeah. one four. One four. It won't be that then. Um, Which mana dork do you want to pop? None of them. Uh, Death face, object face. Could do. Me? Yeah. I'll take it. Look, Mr. 28. <laughs> yeah, I, but I have the least threatening here. I have nothing. Even you don't even know what I would draw, which is a useless creature in this game. True. I suspect my life total is going to be reduced a different way. Um... We'll play my land for turn, which will be reflecting pool. Uh, generate a green here. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature I control. And draw a card, because I've got way more than eight lands. Are you sure? I only see six. <laughs> it's a six, joke. It's six a on joke. Top. It's, it's a joke, cryptic. Go draw the card. Cryptic. 13 lands. That's more uh, than eight, right? Yeah, I'll also have work. I missed um, the black in the Wooburg. I've got work and green. I just saw your comment, Amy. Should have played a food deck. Oh, I should have. I don't actually own a food deck. That's an archetype I haven't. Um, I'll play Nissa. That's what's here. Search for a basic forest. York. At least you played your land this turn already. Yes, uh, I do have this. Yeah, well, I don't care. I'm just saying. Let us have a little bit of joy while we wait for our death. Uh, I'll re I'll retain the red from the work, and so I've got red and green. Why are you waiting for me, Brass? <laughs> Always wait, mate. I am not long for this world. Not I, right, mate. This is a different game. Uh, tap to secure tribe scout to put forest into play. Um, green, red. Uh, we'll add black. Another green. Um, this is the third time Omnath has triggered this turn, so shoot you each for four. And it, this this Omnath, Omnath also triggers. I think a counter on this Omnath. Uh, draw a card. And then I've got more than seven lands, so this Nissa transforms. Uh, plus one on the Nissa. Reveal the top card. It's a broken bond. So I'll put it into my hand. Ah, we're familiar with this card. Uh, broken Bond, destroy target artifact to enchantment. You may put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. <laughs> I think Amy cast it like three times last last game. Oh, I I was I was buying toasters. Ah, 
So what you're saying is you want to make toast out of us? Potentially. Your toast. Um, I'm a seeded loaf, just, just FYI. I'm going to use my a green and a red to cast both broken bond targeting... Baz is Talisman. Cool. And I'm going to put this Scalding Tarn into play. Uh, and add a red from Lotus Cobra. No more of these Omnath triggers, but this one does. Don't you have enough Omnaths? Uh, I want to get one more if I can, because the, 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 one, the other one starts to win the game. No. Uh, draw a card here. Sack the scolding time. And get, uh, I was about to go and get forest, and I can't do that. No, no cheaties. No cheats. No cheats. We have some standards that we have to adhere to. I'm going to get a mountain. Um, I'll generate a blue from Lotus Cobra and draw a card and put a counter on this Omnath. Uh, use my green, red, and blue, and add two more blue, a green, and a red to it to cast Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, which would be, look at the top five cards, put any number of permanents from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest into my hand, XR Genesis Ultimatum. You got it. Yep, you got it from me. Again, not... Not doing much. Five. How big of a whiff is it? Five lines. Uh, this stays in hand, but we'll be put, putting into play this scaled herbalist, which is just a Sakura tribe scout. This retreat to Coral Helm, this prairie stream, which does enter untapped, and this eternal wanderer. Um, I'll have a land for trigger here, here. I'll generate a green. Uh, and here and I'll should be it right untapped Kura tribe scout put a counter on this omnath draw a card tap secure tribe scout to put a land into play reliquary tower counter on omnath draw a card generate another green Uh, one, Eternal Wanderer leaves everybody with one creature, so it's really bad to minus it for me. So, I'm 
can blink my final world phantom. I can. I can also blink Mirko and remove all those counters. Sure. But with, with an empty graveyard, sure. That much is going to happen anyway. Don't you have an untapped trigger as well? From the... Yeah, I did. I, un I untapped this. Ah. And then I tapped it again to put a reliquary tower into play. Yeah, with the uh, with the reliquary tower not trigger the retreat as well. Uh, no, I'll, I'll I'm scored, I scored one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna tick up the wonder eternal wanderer and exile Blanca, returning it at the beginning of that its controller's next end step. Sure. Unless he will not, he will have an answer. Hey, I shouldn't. I think I'm dead to Big Omnath. Maybe not. Big Omnath is an eight eight. Not that dead. But damaged. Um, I will, however, hit you for eight. Baz. I will take it. Good for. Oh look at that! I'm exactly on an Omnath trigger. Yep, I'll pass the turn. End of your turn. I have an effect. I will just sack my ransom note and cloak the top card of my library, making it a cloak creature, the one from Murders. Oh, look, it's a starfish on top of my library. On top. The blanket doesn't come back until end step, right? Beginning of the controller's next end step. Next end step, eh? Yeah. Draw for turn. Last from the side. Board pipes? Nah. Hey, actually, there is one in here, but that ain't what this was. Mm -mm -mm. So how do we not die to just accidentally walking into an Omnath trigger? I don't think you, you can. To, no. Have, yeah. <laughs> Blasphemous act. I don't have that in hand. What can we go get that could save me? Uh, ruination. That is also not in the dark. <gasps> Sorry, I forgot to change my screen again. Uh, draw a card and I will pass her. Blanket keep and draw. Play this in breeding pool tapped. Mm -hmm. And then tap for eight for Madam. Mm -hmm. Cast Madam. Cool. Pass, Tom. Draw the fish. Lift it up. It's a Felwar story. So what I will do is take the river and the swamp. Hey, look, it's a soul diviner. <gasps> no, you wouldn't. I will take off the finality counter from my phantasm to draw a card. Look at that synergy. Nice. Oh, hey, Doom Whisperer. Oh, Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer. Play the Belvoir Stone. Then play the sinister starfish. Ma, I have a starfish. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much accepted my faith. So what I'm gonna do is just hit the wanderer for four.
Little she tickle. She will go to two. A little tickle. Tickle my pickle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I've got uh, starfish and pickles that close together on a stream, but death, come on. <laughs> and then I will just uh, do what I do best with nothing that I have in past turn. I would like to do something in the end step. You have priority. As much as you <sighs> I, I don't have a great way forward, but I won't die to one on that trigger. So we go to and activate Witch's Clinic to give Commander Lifelink. I'll then activate Contested Cliffs to make target beast I control fight another creature. I will have it fight a uh, Lotus Cobra. Of which I will gain five. We're still dead, but at least your turn will be quicker because there won't be a Lotus Cobra. Bastard. Draw. Uh, pay three for a Ramunap excavator. Uh, may play lands from my graveyard. Uh, play my land for turn. Scalding Tarn. Um, gain four. Uh, draw a card, put a counter on Omnath Locus of the Royal. Tap on Tappy. Uh, I'll just untap. I'll tap the Blanca. Um, we'll tick up Nissa. It's a Mina and Den. So they go into my hand. I'll crack the Scalding Tarn. Uh, for those waiting for after the 6.20 finish, uh, I don't think we're going to be doing anything live on stream, but we'll, if folk are kicking about, they can still do stuff in the Discord. Uh, and get a breeding pool going to 51. Uh, tapping the Mirko. With the with the retreat trigger, uh, generating work, drawing a card, putting a counter on the this omnis. I am not the threat. It's always fun to tap a vigilant creature, though. Um. Pay three for a Dryad of the Elysian Grove to give me an additional land drop. I'll just cast Scapeshift Valakut and kill the beat. <laughs> uh, not in the deck, should be, but isn't. Uh, play Windswept Heath. Maybe uh, I'll take four. You each take four. I'll put a counter on this Omnath. I'll draw a card. Um, when that enters, I'll tap your phantom with. I feel trigger. targeted. Yes. Even though there are other creatures on the battlefield. Well, when I now pay red, white, and green um, to cast this Naya charm uh, and tap all of Yerdar's creatures, it might make it make more sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. That 
the charm. In response, I uh, will float a uh, blue and I'll float a green. Again, I will reiterate, I don't have Toxic Deluge in my hand. It has not okay. come to me the whole game. Well, we're, we're like 25 minutes past finish, so yeah, yeah it no, doesn't I'm matter. Saying. I'm saying. We'll send, go to combat. We'll send Big Omnath at death. We'll send this Omnath at Yerdar. And we'll send uh, one at Baz. Can I go to blocks? You can. I will block with your Oracle of Moldaya. That's fine. I will not. I will take one. I will die. Like the legend you are. Yeah, I was just. Bad day for dragons. Yeah. Yeah, the cheese beat them. Get it? Because elemental, elemental. Oh, yeah. That's okay. so the bad. <laughs> yeah, the mental cheese is one. Um, and then we're good. So we will then tick up the Wanderer and blink this Omnath. Crack a fetch. Well, first of well, it comes back at the end step. Oh, of course, yeah. And then go to the end step. Mm -hmm. This returns. Draw a card. He's really hoping for that extra land. Um. Tap this to put a Misty Rainforest into play. Nice. Uh, draw a card, put a counter on here, gain four. Four. Uh, I'll sack this Misty Rainforest to go to 54. I'll take it. four, which means pass dies. <gasps> generate, generate, well, you're going to generate it's one. going to get mana first. Yeah. yeah no, end step, unless it's flash. It's um, put a counter on this Omnath. Uh, untap this. Uh, tap this to put a Canopy Vista into play, dealing four to each of you. I already took my damage. Put a counter on this Omnath draw card. Death. Uh, untap the scaled herb list. Yep, that's the end of the turn. Yay, I will land. Only good death. My upkeep, I will tap my sinister starfish to surveil. Definitely putting this doom whisperer in my graveyard. Draw a mysterious card. Play an island. I have drawn all the lands, the, the islands. That Omnav is an 8-8, eight, eight, and that one is a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. All the big cannons. Let's just put all the stuff in front of the jelly beans. Mm -hmm. Protect them. I would like to move to combat. 
uh, you can go to combat, but I'd like to stop you before you declare attackers. I would like to declare attackers. Uh, I would like to tap this scaled herbalist mm -hmm. to put a stomping ground into play mm -hmm. and tap Mirko. Mm -hmm. uh, draw a card, put a counter on. Omnath. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it. I was done in that combat. Activate my soul. Diviner to remove a counter from Miracle to draw a card. Game four, because it's the first time I land in the battlefield this turn. I do. Yes, yes. I already played my land for the turn. I will still hit, would like to hit you with one into your final, into your eternal wonder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like some Zenith for six. What do I lose there? Uh, this, 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 this. And all the counters, because that's negative counters are permanent for Black Sun Zenith. Yeah, so I lose this, 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 this. I keep this and this. So. Sure. Your big arm there will be uh one one. One one and the other one will be a two two, right? Yeah. All these beautiful creatures since the finality was not there. But this shuffles in. Let's see if I bought myself an untap. I will pass. Um, yeah. Draw. Uh, three mana. We'll play Uro. Mm -hmm. um, game draw three, draw a card. How uh, many cards left in your library? About, uh, well, I was like hoping like you have five left or something. Yeah, no. Um, put a land into play. I'll put Besaidu into play. Um, I'll gain three from Uro and then four from Omnas going to 65. Um, I'll draw a card and I'll remove one of these minus one, minus one counters from this Omnath. Sure. Uh, I'll tick up Nissa. Reveal the top card. It's a Spitfire Lagak. Mm hmm. I will cast Spitfire Legek, ETB. Uh, landfall deals one damage to each opponent. Mm -hmm. Good that I wiped the board a little bit. I will sacrifice this Windswept Teeth, going to 65. You will gain four and I will lose one? Did that uh, what you're I will go, um, no, I will generate work. I'll still lose the one. You'll still lose one, though. Uh, and I'll get a planes. I'll draw a card and I'll remove a plus one plus one uh, minus one minus one counter from this Omnath. Death holding on to the very end, but is it enough to at least untap? Let's see, mate. Let's see. Make it worthwhile. I'm trying. I'm giving the people what they want. Blacks and seniors and all. Uh, I'm going to use my work for Invasion of Zendikar. Targeting me, I guess. Uh, you will. I'll ask you to defend it. Yes. And then I'll search for two basics. I'll lose five. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's. You'll lose. You'll lose five because I've only got the one basic left. But um. No more basics. Yeah, here we got him, boys. We got him on the ropes with sixty-five life. We moved the last counter from this. Draw a card. You have six damage that you can hit me with. Right now. Mid combat. Yeah, you won. Uh, you had them activated. You won. I know you won already. You won. Yeah, I attack. I attack with this. Would then you, you blink the other one, hit me for the free. You already won. Yeah. And then I'll be... I, I saw the line before you did. It's all, I wanted to, all I wanted to do was cast Rise of the Dark Ones, but wanted to keep all of you alive. GG, Cryptic. GG's. GG's, guys. GG's. My life flashed before my eyes. Oh, my goodness. Well. Folks, thank you so much for joining us today for our first community day of the year. Uh, we're hoping to ramp up to have them more regularly, uh, but we're aiming for at least once a quarter. So once every three months. So the next one will hopefully be in question mark June. <laughs> before Amsterdam, right? Probably before Amsterdam. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go because we've got big plans for Amsterdam. Uh, GG for Cryptic, obviously, in chat, please, if you're still watching. Uh, another oh, slog. Yeah, and then thank you, Death and Jay, for joining us for the final pod of Community Day. Yay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having thank us. To... It was a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure, mate. Pleasure. Nice to have, nice to have the squad on the stream, which is nice. Folks, we are over time, so we are going to wrap up quickly. But it is worth mentioning that if you still want to watch more Magic, that uh, Brazen Coalition Gaming is going to start streaming in five minutes. Uh, you will be in for a treat if you do. But if, like me, you're really tired and want to go and not look at a TV screen for a while, I also appreciate that too. That's me, Bess, and I want to eat. <laughs> same, same. Okay. So as we wrap up, uh, if folk want to plug in anything, Death, do you want to go first and tell the good people where they can find you? Sure, gladly. I'll be fast. So, thanks for having me. I'm, as always, your, your favorite Death from Veil of Death MTG. I do mostly CDH stuff and CDH focused stuff, but with the metal twist. Thanks for having me. Pleasure, mate. Always good to have you. And Jay, thank you again for joining us. Uh, hopefully it won't be, for, be too long before we see you again. Yeah, thanks again. So he's probably the next community event. So here's hoping. Here's hoping. Get some revenge. Yeah, I just I didn't get get my wheels rolling today at all. So next time, next time, then the break. It happens. Miriam's one of those decks, though. If, when it gets going, it's really difficult to stop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Isn't that most decks? Well, yeah, yeah but magic big, big way, copy right? dragons are particularly awkward to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, true. And of course, the, the 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 mod with the most cryptic walking away with what was it three dubs today? Check you out, mate. Check you out. Pub stomping in the first two, and then bringing the big guns in the last one. <laughs> you you settle down, settle down. Yeah, and yeah. I took one dub as well, so I'm happy. You did, yeah. and well deserved as well. I did all the work for you, but you know whatever. Yeah, stole <laughs> that one from Baz. <laughs> no, right on. Ratio. Well, folks. As we say, we are going to wrap up there. Uh, if you've gotten this far and you haven't dropped a follow on Twitch, please consider doing so. And if you're watching on YouTube live or after the fact, why not drop a wee like and a subscribe? It helps us a lot. We appreciate you all being here and your eyeballs and your attention. Uh, Chrono, thank you as well for modding the whole day. You and Cryptic have been keeping us uh, well looked after. Uh, although Cryptic did take a break in the middle, so... Yeah, I went to buy toasters and kettles. I know it's got to be done. Absolutely got to be done. Can't 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 have can not can't be British and not have a kettle. Jizo. Oh, you can't have can't have a kettle and not have a toaster and not have a microwave and not have a fridge freezer and not have a washer at all in one go. Absolutely, and if that appliance that's all those things exists, I want to see it. 
Oh, oh I hear a voice changer. <laughs> oh, Omega, hello. I didn't realize you were lurking in chat. Nice to see you, mate. But yes, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we will be back next week for the start of the next week. I suppose it's technically this week. Who do we have on Thursday? We have a more prepared person would know. Schedule. Oh, we have It's All About MTG joining us for the first time on Monday, I believe. Let me double, double, double check. Yes, It's All About MTG. Fantastic. We've been trying to get him on stream for a while, so this will be a good one. Dates are always a difficult one with us, so we will be getting him on on Thursday. So be sure to join us for that. And if I waffle for one more minute, we can raid Brazen Coalition. So maybe we just keep waffling and we'll do that. Uh, remember, Command Fest Birmingham next month. Uh, the gang are turning up, as is Cryptic and lots of other UK content creators. So be sure to come and hang out with us. And then if you can wait until June, we'll be hanging out with Death Magic himself. Hopefully, Big creating boy something. Death is going to be all over Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, yes. Just don't get arrested. That's all I ask. I want to get arrested. I don't know. Don't I'm... take the UV light. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hold on, for, for this I need to do this. Oh, here we go. I didn't realize the Digimon were here. They are. The, Digimon, digital monsters. No, no, that, that will get us. That will get us struck. <laughs> not on Twitch. Not on Twitch. No, no, on Twitch. Uh, try growing. But on, uh, but on YouTube, it might. That's nah, all good. Trust, trust me, my, my, I can't hit an old even if I tried. Amazing. Right, folks. Uh, looks like uh, the gang are not live yet, so we're going to have to just miss them, unfortunately. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. And we'll hopefully see you on Thursday, if not in person, at the end of next month. So thanks again to the guests and everyone else that played on the pods. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye, Bye everybody.